Teach, Itoki's sleeping in class. No, I'm not, you jerk. We've got exams coming up, you know. No time to slack. I know. Something just caught my eye outside. Well, if you weren't sleeping, you could solve this. Right, uh, Mr. Itoki Sakuraba? Uh, <laughs> you got it right? That's no fun. Huh? You really thought I'd get it wrong and still made me come up here? <laughs> Itoki! You finally coming to karaoke today? I want to, but I have extra lessons today, so I can't. Sorry. Man, you're always such a killjoy. How do you even have time to breathe? It feels like you have something going on every day. Giving me crap isn't gonna help. I want to hang out with you guys, too. You could stand to be a little more empathetic. I know you've always had some extra lessons, but how many do you have now? A lot. Cram school six times a week, gymnastics three times a week, swimming, judo. I somehow managed to get out of dance and flower arrangement. Oh, wow. It's like you're the son of a noble. Far from it. I'm just the son of a private sector store owner. We're middle class at best. Yeah, you don't exactly have the celeb aura. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got today? Gymnastics? That and cram school. You should at least make some good memories in what little of middle school we've got left. It is almost over. Whoa! <gasps> Diamond! <laughs> Actually, I'm out. Is that so? What? This would be a lot less awkward if you just walked next to me. That seems unnecessary. This is fine. So cold. I'm just here to make sure you're not skipping your lessons. Don't mind me. It's harder not to mind than to mind. I don't like it either. I'm only doing this because your mom asked me to. Understand? You could have declined. You don't have to do every favor someone else's parents ask of you. If we hadn't known each other so long, I would have. Honestly, that's pretty weak reasoning. <sighs> Shut up. Sorry, what was that now? If you're gonna wear a mask all the time, you gotta speak up. Could you try again with it down? Who said I take orders from you? You have a minute to talk, Itoki? Uh, yeah. I was thinking, would you want to formally pursue gymnastics in high school? Uh, it would be a lot of work, but you're good. I get the feeling you could hold your own at a higher level. I, uh, don't know. Of course. Well, no rush. I know there's a lot to consider. Your family and everything. Yeah. But I'd like you to think about it, okay? You're talented. You could have a bright future ahead of you. My future, huh? Uh. Crap, I'm gonna be late for cram school! <sighs> Fine, I'll take a shortcut. <clears throat> Kitty! shouldn't hit me with the merchandise we're trying to sell. Oh, be quiet! I'll eat it later! And don't go changing the subject. Come on. That lady is always in here complaining. I'm well aware. 
could still find a better way to handle it. I'll go out on the floor then. Uh, manager! Tokisada here doesn't seem to be very gifted at customer service. You could say that again. The guy's too much. Hey now, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. Uh. Why don't you head home early? But could you pick up Itoki first? Sure thing. No trouble. I got you. Just make sure you clock out before you leave. So cheap. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry to make you wait, Uncle. You know what would be great, Itoki? You're getting yourself a license when you get into high school. I keep saying, I don't even need to be picked up. I gotta do it when the boss asks. I ain't about to rock the boat at work. Jeez. You were involved in a car accident? Yeah. Apparently both front tires burst at the same time. You hurt? I'm fine. Ugh. Why, Sai? You still went to cram school after almost getting killed? Must be hard being such a goody two-shoes. Shut up. I gotta endure it. That's just how it is. I'm home. I'll get started on dinner. I'll help. Why so late? The customer had some complaints. It took up a bit of my time. That must suck. I'll get a part-time job in high school and help pay some bills. We'll be fine. We still have your father's life insurance. Then, what if I took fewer lessons? You can't do that. What? So I have to keep going to all of them, even in high school? I mean, there's no reason to quit. Well, wait. There's stuff. I'm young. I need some time to do things. Youth is temporary, but a good education will last you a lifetime. If you work hard now, you'll have a much easier time when you're all grown up. Okay. You don't have to supervise me in the morning, do you? It's a coincidence. So just a coincidence that happens basically every day? <sighs> you're so self-conscious. Boys going through puberty are so annoying. Puberty has nothing to do with this! What is it? <gasps> uh, nothing, just zoning out. Really? 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 Oh, <laughs> Whoa! Is this real life? My name's Satomi Tsubaki. And I'm Itoki Sakuraba. I know who you are. <laughs> Yeah, of course. That was dumb. So, uh, I take it you're a second year then, that right? Uh-huh. I've been... Well, it's kind of embarrassing to say, but I've been watching you. Oh, yeah? You're a really great guy. You always bring everyone together at school events. In class, you make everyone smile! Well, not really. They just like messing with me. I heard. You're smart, too. Not especially. And I saw you yesterday. When you dodged that truck, you were really cool. Not cool at all! Itoki! Yes? I was wondering... Will you go out with me? Uh... I'm home! Welcome back. So, heads up. I found out next Sunday there's this seminar about good schools and stuff, so I want to skip gymnastics. Is that cool? <laughs> it's for the sake of my education, so, you know. So you got a girlfriend. <laughs> I am your mother. I can read you like a book. This is rather sudden. I take it you didn't initiate. No. Okay, so she asked you, but how do you know each other? Did you meet at cram school, gymnastics, regular school? What made you say yes? That's a lot to ask at once. Well, is she cute? What's she like? You know, I'll be pretty upset if she's not a nice girl. Uh, I don't really know her, so I couldn't exactly tell you. Oh? Mom, please. It's the first time anybody's asked me out. I'm finally gonna start having a life. Please let me skip on Sunday. For once? You can't. But if we have to wait until afterwards, it'll be too late at night. I don't want you dating her either. Huh? Going out with someone you've never even talked to is insincere and unfair to them. 
Hold on, isn't that a little old-fashioned? The bottom line here is your mother does not approve. <coughs> Whatever. Thanks, Uncle. I owe you. Satomi! <laughs> Sorry if I kept you waiting. Oh, don't worry, you didn't. I just got here myself. So where do you want to, like, go? Uh, man, I am not much good at this. Sorry. How about... Um, <sighs> if it's cool with you, would you like to come over to my place? <laughs> really? 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 I wonder if all girls' rooms are like this. I don't know if tea's your thing, but want yeah, some? Tea's great! So, what should we do? Watch TV? Play a game? Uh, we could, like, play rock, paper, scissors, or maybe... Uh, where are you going? Satomi? Hey. I was thinking... something like... Something like what? Oh, what are you doing? Is this real life or am I dreaming? Oh, never mind, just put your clothes back on! It, it's okay. It's not that I don't, but... I like you. I wasn't kidding. I'm sorry, I'm not mentally prepared for this! We basically just met, I feel like we're skipping a few steps! You know what I mean, right? Oh, that must be it! I bet this is a prank, yeah? You got me! Someone's gonna pop out from under your bed and yell you got pranked, right? <laughs> oh, you've got good instincts. Satomi, what's happening? This is a bit far for a- Itoki Sakuraba! Die! young master wait mr kozo if only we were a little more on top of things you wouldn't have had to go through all of that uh, uh, Kosetsu? don't you worry about her she can take care of herself just know that we're taking you to a safe place you'll have to trust us <laughs> young master we expected a smooth ride but it looks like it's about to get bumpy put on your seatbelt and hold on Are you all right? Wake up, please. You need to get out of here. Head back to the city at the bottom of the hill and make sure you stay near lots of people. Hurry! Oh. Oh. I don't get it. This is insane. How did this happen? Stay near lots of people, huh? But what if I can't find anyone? This place is like a ghost town. Where even am I? Hey, kid, what are you doing standing in the middle of the street? Uh, officer, perfect timing. Okay, listen, 
I was at a friend's place and got attacked by some weird dudes in body armor and got kicked off at the balcony. Then I was kidnapped by someone I know and then we crashed and now it took off and now the city lights went out? Okay there, buddy. Let's calm down. I swear it's the truth! Well, it's true the power's temporarily out in this area while they install a new transformer. Guess you hadn't heard? Is that what it is? I'm not really familiar with this area, but I'm glad I found you. I feel a lot better when... <clears throat> take out. Otherwise the overtime pay ain't worth it. That's better. Hey buddy, leave this one to me. What? When did he? you inside. Is your problem now, Kusetsu? My family home. <laughs> Compose yourself. The family chief's here. to call me chief here, understand? Huh? Itoki, I need you to listen carefully. Look around you. Those you see are the Iga village shinobi. I'm sorry, shinobi? Like ninjas? That's right. Ninjas? Like ninja ninjas? Yeah, no, I don't buy it. You're the manager of a pit stop convenience store. These are your employees. That's merely the facade we show to the world. Never thought I'd hear such a cliché line in real life. Ninjas were commonplace only a few hundred years ago, and while most think them long gone, they've simply adapted with the times. There are still a handful of villages scattered around the country. Their members have regular jobs and blend into society with outwardly normal lives. And that's what the store's for? Yes. Ninjas follow strict sets of rules in order to stay out of each other's way and avoid being discovered by the public. For the past few decades, we have all been able to maintain a balance. However, that's recently changed. The Koga village has been making moves that threaten to upset that balance. The Koga? Of the many villages that are still active, the Koga are the most powerful. They possess tremendous wealth and modern ninjutsu. This wouldn't be a problem normally, but we've learned they're aiming to take over our Ika village. Which means... Those who attacked you today were no doubt working for the Koga. Huh? They what? But... The reason they were after you in particular is because you, Itoki Sakuraba, have the tremendous honor of being the 19th successor to the ninja village of Ika. Uh, uh. This is why I've had to raise you so strictly, so that you would be ready for the next step. Itoki, you are to become a ninja. Take my word for it. In terms of basic skills, you possess enough to become a full-fledged ninja. Are you serious? Moving on, taking into account the overbold nature of Koga's chosen path. Itoki, to protect yourself- No, here. listen! 
I never even believed ninjas existed to begin with. If you'll excuse me, uh, my boy, at this very moment, Koga is on the hunt, looking for you. Their one aim is to take your life. I'm begging you. And it sounds like we ought to get the police involved. It wouldn't matter. Ninja can outwit even them. The only people you can trust are your village and yourself. You must form your resolve, understand? Uh, I, I got it, Chief. Excuse me. I'm gonna borrow him for Uncle, a bit. Uncle, hold on. Where are we going? Wait a sec. Let me go. Ninjas. This is nuts. Well, you're not wrong. You have a choice. Either become a ninja or die. What, just like that? You do realize I almost got killed? As if that wasn't enough. They were freaking ninjas. Now you're telling me to become one? Or I'll die? That doesn't make any sense! How can I believe any of this? My life was normal until yesterday. I went to class and studied. I was planning to go to the same high school as my friends! There were lots of things I wanted to do! Suddenly this happens? What the hell even is a ninja?! Actually, there is a third option. Huh? I'll help you escape. At least until the heat dies down. You can do that? It's gonna be a huge pain in the ass, but yeah. If that's what you really want, Yumika ordered me to go ahead and help you escape all of it. My mom did? No one knows the truth, except for her and me. But if we're going to leave without being noticed, we have to go now. Look, regardless of your decision, no one is going to blame you. We were not able to protect you, and they found out who you were because we failed. For that reason, Yumika felt we ought to at least provide you with some choice in the matter. It's only fair, after all. Before your father had died, he was chief of the Yiga. <laughs> you were just a kid. When he passed, Yumika became the new chief. And ever since that day, she's been protecting the village. Your mother? She is the one who had to step into that role. You see, Yumika is not really a ninja. And for her to just suddenly become a leader over them all, it was similar to your situation now. So go ahead, and decide your own path. Itoki, I don't think anyone could reasonably say you haven't had to put up with a lot. But it doesn't come close to the amount of pressure Yumika has endured. She has faced a world of death and deception, shouldering duty and responsibility all on her own. That's the person telling you it's okay to run. So what will you choose? Uh, isn't that kind of... Unfair, huh? Yeah, it sure is. But the reality is that's what we adults ask of you. Sorry. <laughs> Itoki Sakuraba is safe, sheltered in the Iga Ninja estate, and far away from our reach. We can't just go home after failing the mission! It would bring disgrace on Mr. Enby's name! Koga does not suffer incompetence. We could be expelled, or even worse. I will do whatever it takes! I swear, Iga will pay! Mr. Enby... Would I be correct in assuming the attacks on Iga a few hours ago were initiated by subordinates who were acting under your orders? So what if they were? Well, the NSC has already caught wind. We can't do a damn thing if we're afraid of shadow hunters! It would appear you need the three ninja principles explained to you again. I'm just curious where you get the nerve to talk down to me, Hosen. You're acting like our chief wasn't killed! And in pursuit of revenge, you're willing to endanger the entire village! Sorry, Acting Chief. There is no use engaging in these fruitless quarrels. Clearly, both of you remain dedicated to your village. Please forgive me, sir. While Koga remains strong, the Iga are feeble. We can simply choke the life out of them at our leisure. <laughs> A dream? 
So, how did you sleep? Okay. Good morning. Your breakfast will be ready soon. Afterwards, you and I will discuss the next steps. Thank you. I'd really appreciate that. Well then, young master. Presently, school's too dangerous for you to return. You'll have to take academic leave. Huh? I can't drop out! You will go here instead. Welcome to Kokuten Academy. We pride ourselves on being Japan's only national ninja school. Within these halls, future candidates work diligently, training and studying the ninja arts. Thanks to the school and its teachers, I learned the importance of friendships. Ninjas are amazing! So what are you waiting for, Ninja Hopeful? Send us your submission today! It's pretty well produced for a fake video. Even though they didn't show a single ninja. Oh, it's real. Uh, you're kidding me! Anyone can watch this online? That's the point. So no one will believe it's genuine. Mm, yeah, like me. It's located somewhere hidden from the public. And if you're not a student, there's no way to sneak in. There are dorms on campus where you can live without fear. Also, the school operates under the NSC's jurisdiction. It's the safest place for you. NSC? In two days, you will need to take the transfer exam. If you pass, you will then be accepted into the school. Wait, two days? The exam site is kept secret until right before it occurs. When we know, we will have Tokisada drive you to the agreed-upon location. Iga cakes make perfect Iga souvenirs. Why don't you give one a try? Would you care to have a sample, sir? Thank you. But no, my name is Bon Hosen, the sales director over Koga Holdings. Do you mind if we have a talk? <sighs> What's that NSC thing you mentioned, Miss Reha? The National Ninjutsu Security Measures Committee, NSC for short. There was a major war involving the world of Shinobi about 70 years ago. It was a tragic event that involved every faction. And afterwards, the NSC was formed to prevent conflict among villages, and exists to this day. You can try and claim they're increasing the wholesale price, but we've had a long relationship with Ninmon Confections. Your memory's failing. I had already said Ninmon Confections will become a subsidiary of Koga Holdings. You are buying out business partners to put pressure on another village. This is an infringement on our boundaries, and breaks the ninja ordinances. Then you should know. The NSC determined it does not constitute infringement. The NSC? I understand. Then we must accept your adjusted terms and look forward to our continued business dealings with you. But boss, we- If this improves the lives of the factory workers, then it can't be all that terrible of a compromise. <laughs> now that we're both on the same page, I hope we'll be able to further build a positive relationship. I do as well. Please suppress your bloodlust, Suzuku. I'm attempting to. If you wish to be a true ninja, then silence your heart. I know. Father. In honor of your exam tomorrow. Thanks, Mom. For this food. We are both grateful. I used a nicer cut of meat, so let me know how it tastes. It's just... the whole ninja school thing. It still feels like something out of a dream. Of course. You'll have to wing it, but give it your best. I know you're nervous, but I have complete faith you'll do just fine. So Dad was a ninja too? You said that he died in an accident. All of my lessons, you put me in them so I could become just like... Will I become a ninja like him? Stop worrying. Eat up before your food gets cold. Good morning. Hey, we haven't received the exam location quite yet, so just sit tight. By the way, are you sure it's okay that I haven't prepared at all? Mm -hmm. I mean, don't ninjas need to kind of like... Hmm? Well, they use ninjutsu, like breathe fire or be able to manipulate water while shouting fire-style jutsu or water-style jutsu and whatnot. What? Give me a break. You're acting like I said something strange. I am taking a ninja exam. Shouldn't I at least be practicing how to use techniques beforehand or something? 
the old fire technique. Uh, just some kind of game and my water technique. Hey, I wasn't finished with that. Are you going to answer me or what? A technique involving fire is labeled fire. Same goes for water. Also, you can't make something from nothing. You'll need to train. Uh, right. What do you mean? I'm saying to make fire, Oop. it requires something that burns and something yeah. to light it with. Huh? You lost me. Huh? Huh? Uncle? What's the matter? He told me the exam location. Let's go. Coca? They sure are raking it in. Is this seriously the exam site? It ought to be fine. For ninjas, killing is generally forbidden, so it's not like you'll die. Yeah, well, it didn't stop those other ones from before. By the way, why are ninjas even working at a shopping center? Ah, uh, you know. Markets are like old trade routes used to be. Goods flow there, and that brings information. It's where we gather intel. <coughs> Go knock him dead, Tiger. Uh, will I really be okay? Kasetsu, it's time to focus, so no more complaining. I'm well aware. We've got a job to do. They don't have signs or anything. Find an employee and ask where the ninja meal is. Huh? Why does it have to be me? Just do it. Uh, fine, I'm going. Excuse me. Yes, sir? Do you know where I can find the ninja meal? Right this way, please. Straight down this hall and all the way to the back. Uh, okay. Is this really the place? Quiet and stay alert. Sorry, is this... Uh... Mm -mm. Since everyone's arrived, we'll begin. This is the transfer exam for Kokuten Academy. As for the test, it will be practical. You'll play hide and seek. Hide and seek? Examinees, you'll be split into two groups. Hiders and Seekers. Best of luck. The Hider will leave the back room first and find a hiding spot somewhere within the service area. A minute later, the Seeker will leave and the exam will officially begin. You'll have 10 minutes. Hiders not found within the allotted time pass the exam. Seekers who discover and are able to tag their Hider will pass the test. We will be constantly monitoring you using security cameras. If we observe you breaking any of the ninja ordinances, you will be disqualified. Hiders must use clever ploys to evade being caught, while seekers should depend on espionage. This will show your fundamental abilities as a ninja. Never shoplift. Got that? You're up, Maiko Yasukawa. Please exit now and hide within the store. Yes, sir. Okay. Good luck with the exam. Thanks. Same goes for you. <laughs> Let's both try and do our best. <laughs> or it won't be fun, right? I'm so dead. The hiders had a minute. Begin the exam. Your time has already started. <laughs> oh, right. What now? Come on, think. What do I do? I'll just confiscate this. You're Tokisada! That's right. Good night. Seriously? Still go falling asleep on the job now. We said a hundred days, no time off. Wow. How do you know? The usual. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Kosetsu! Shut up and listen. If they find out I helped, we'll both be disqualified. Satomi is here! It's not just her. Several Koga ninjas have snuck in and they're after you. Then I have to run! Then you'll fail and lose your shot at the academy. You mean the exam's still going forward? Uncle and I are taking care of them, but they could be anywhere. Stay alert. <laughs> 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 Heat haze type 3. Heat what? It uses quantum stealth and 3D metamaterials to cloak. Uh huh? It's optical camouflage. Oh, never mind. Just try to stay alive and pass the exam. Uh, on my own? But that's impossible. <laughs> uh, we can get you another one. Okay? <laughs>
my sweetie. Push through. Endure it. Right now, just focus on not dying! Kind of you to walk right into my trap. You'll notice there are no cameras here. Didn't even realize you were cornered. Amateur. Who's cornered? Keep fooling yourself! <laughs> your 10 minutes had already expired. Uh, it can't be. What was going through your head? There are other counters for optical camouflage, but instead, you chose to draw as much attention as possible. Because I didn't want to involve them. I thought it would work, that I could get everyone out of danger this way. Well, that takes care of that. You failed, but what's done is done. So, what do I do now? You'll have to hide until the next exam. Where this time? Iga has a desert island. Zero infrastructure, about four days away by You're boat. You're crazy! No! Lucky you, getting to enjoy the quiet, slow life. <laughs> Man, this sucks! Hello? There Good is a chance you. you might get billed for all the damaged merchandise. I'm sorry! Huh? <laughs> okay. What is it? They said you passed. Huh? Congratulations. I guess, do your best to become a great ninja. Um, thank you. Yay. Should I be happy? Captain Goshugawara, First Division of the National Ninjutsu Security Measures Committee. We have placed Satomi Tsubaki under arrest. Also, Four others for attempted murder and gross misuse of ninja implements. I beg your forgiveness. I know I failed you. First off, please allow me to apologize on behalf of my village. However, you should know the five arrested today are individuals who disappeared suspiciously last month. Koga's been pursuing them as fugitive ninjas all this time. Still, they were originally Koga Shinobi, and as the acting chief, I am so thankful that you apprehended them. You've been most helpful. We'll be keeping an eye on Koga. If something does happen, you should be made aware. Your village will take responsibility. Yes, Hyatt just speaking. Say that again? Call an ambulance right now! Yes, sir! Thomas will study diligently to become a fine chief. And please have a safe trip. Right. Got everything? Yeah, I think so. All right. Then away we go. Yeah. Take the train the rest of the way. Huh? A train? From where? Ugh. For real? Pleasant travels! Is this the right... 
right place. Uh. It feels like we've been in this tunnel for three hours, doesn't it? Don't you ever pipe down? But aren't you nervous? My name's Ryoko Suzunone. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And yours too. Ryoko! The gang's all back! You'll have to catch us up. Move your back. Uh. I miss this place so much. <laughs> you know what? Change my mind. School life here might actually be fun. So immature. Hey, Kosetsu. Do you? Where'd you go? Kasetsu! <coughs> oh. Didn't see you. Huh? <sighs> uh, wait. Do I know you? Huh? Hey! Uh, huh? How are you? How have you uh, been? Uh, Not bad from the looks of it. I'm so you? happy for you. We've hey, got heaps of going to catch up on. We should grab drinks. Let's get going. Are you a transfer student? Yes. Yeah, I kind of figured that was the case after seeing how totally clueless you were acting back there. Did I do something wrong back there? Not only uh. were those four guys Koga ninjas, but they're elite ones to boot. Uh. Better be careful. If you tick them off, consider your school life over. I appreciate the tip. I'll remember that. Also, I'm Kide. Uh, yeah. I guess you are, but... No, that's my name. Don't get me wrong. I'm not above calling myself pretty. <laughs> right. I'm Itoki Sakuraba. Huh? What village? Iga, why? Are you kidding? Iga? The Iga. Is that bad? No, it's just everyone's heard about the Iga ninjas, even people who aren't ninjas. I mean, sure, now your village has fallen on hard times, lost its glory, and is on the verge of collapse, but all the same. Who says that? My situation's not that much different. We should become friends. Sound good? <sighs> sure. Congratulations for reaching the next grade. Uh, I've given this spiel hundreds of times, but it's all I've got to say. So here we go again. The three ninja principles are one, do not be discovered, two, do not kill, and three, do not betray. If you're not found out, then you're A-OK. -okay. In all seriousness, all I ask is you remember to obey the rules and enjoy school life for the short time you're here. Itoki. Looks like we're in the same class. Sure does. Oh. Uh, Kosetsu's from Iga, too. Oh! Hey, nice to meet ya! Oh, wow. This place feels exactly like high school. You'll want uh. this. Uh. <laughs> What's this? It's nasty, but filling mostly nasty, though. Why choose it, then? Because you might tick them off. The Koga ninjas have both money and power, plus overwhelming numbers, which means you can't really beat them. It's best to avoid students from their village altogether. So we can't even pick out the food that we want to eat? <laughs> huh? You over there! <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry to duck out, Itoki, but something urgent just came up. You trying to pick a fight or something? No, is there a problem here? Stop playing dumb, asshole! Did I do something to offend you? Bastard! You think you can just screw with the Koga? Imura. If you're a true ninja, then silence your heart. <sighs> Imagine the next Iga chief acting like this. You really don't know anything, do you? Kishin Maru, the great Koga leader that passed away. It was ninjas from your village that killed him. <gasps> Kishin Maru. Said to be the most talented ninja in all of Koga history. He was unsurpassed in ninjutsu, and most importantly, a decent human being. He considered ninjas as a whole, 
not divided by clans, and wanted what was best for all of them. Truly a rare human being. And he never should have died that way! <laughs> Koga will not forgive Iga. I swear your destruction will be certain, thorough, and complete. How come you didn't say anything to Itoki? I was planning on informing him about everything once the truth had become clear. This is going to lead to even more trouble. And we can't change that. If we're going to get anywhere, we need to be forceful. Any order you give, I'll carry out, including torture. No need. Our grudge doesn't lie with the traitor, but with the fiend who used their weakness to manipulate them. <sighs> so then we're keeping things status quo? Let's get back to work. And accomplish the tasks we can. <sighs> oh, this is the dorm? It's better than I imagined. You're not staying here. Huh? It's a haunted house. This is your dorm. What kind of people live here? Careful, bud. This is my home, you know. And what was that other building? The Koga dorm, of course. Why am I not surprised? Boys on the second floor, girls on the third. Well, I'll see you. Yeah. Um, thanks for all your help. That reminds me, how did things go in the cafeteria? Was it bad? Nah, it was fine. Sorry I split on you. But next time, you ought to be smart and follow my lead. Later. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Who's there? <clears throat> Would it kill you to knock first? The Koga are tossing accusations left and right. Thinking about it is pointless, as is listening to an enemy. You're right. Still, it keeps bothering me. Someone close to me might have killed their chief. There's no point spending your time and energy on battles you can't win. Save them for training. Thank you. Really. Huh. Thanks? For what? Nah, just forget it. We're combining your two classes for this particular exercise. For today's practice, you'll learn to use ninja suits and ninja cores. Ninja suits? And cores? What are... Everyone here knows. Okay, but I don't. Inside each case, you'll find a general purpose suit and core. The principles are the same as middle school. Finish calibrations and activate your suit. this? Hey. Uh. Oh. But this time, to get you used to the ninja suit's performance, your destination's there. Ascend the roof of the tower. What? You'll find the principal up there relaxing with a supply of manju. To prove you reached the goal, you'll have to bring one back. However, it just so happens he's a huge manju lover. As long as his appetite lasts, believe me, he'll keep snacking on the supply. So keep that in mind. Seriously? This is your first practical drill. Make use of what you learned in middle school. Show me you've got what it takes to be a ninja. Get ready, begin! <laughs> what gives? Why can't I move? Is this normal? You should have studied. Help me out here! Hey, wait! <laughs> the next chief of the Iga doesn't even know how to use a ninja suit right. So I've got this crazy idea. If he sucks that much, couldn't we just kill him and make it look like a total accident? The principal's <laughs> watching. Wise enough. Besides... Come on, Itoki Sakuraba. You realize I could kick you out of school for your total lack of aptitude? Are you trying to get expelled today? Uh, I can't go back home. Get your head in the game, then. Stop fooling around and move out already. Come on. Just let me take one step. Excuse me? Uh, no, it's Ryoko, right? If you don't mind, I'll take a quick look. Uh, uh, a look where? Oh, my. You're working with some nice stuff if you don't mind me. Look. Watch it. That's tickled. Stop! <laughs> when it comes to ninja suits, adjusting them can be a delicate issue. It's not a problem when it comes to custom-made suits, but these school-issued ones, it's necessary to do some fine-tuning yourself. 
fascinating part is just a slight difference of a few millimeters can affect the power transmission, and that can work against you, preventing you from taking a single step. Uh, Even so, no. I still think these general purpose cores have a certain charm all their own, don't you agree? Since anyone can use them, that means everybody has the potential to obtain the power of a ninja, regardless of what their training or background is. Just imagine, this technology could be used to make power tools for regular people and end up being used for the betterment of society, or at least I hope. The only problem is it's kind of a rule that ninjas have to stay in the shadows, but I do so wish I could bring this technology into the light someday. I'm so sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, time to get moving. Whoa, it's working. for teaching me. Yeah, no sweat. Um, you see, I'm from the Saiga village. Saiga? For generations. Our village has been a producer of ninja tech, including both suits and cores. So, um, you see, I really like, no, love ninja tools. Yeah. It's rare to find a shinobi who knows nothing about them, so I don't often get a chance to gush about it. Oh, I forgot to mention, but each village's ninja suits and cores have their own characteristics. Uh, maybe we could continue this after we finish with the drill. Oh, I did it again, sorry. Congratulations, you're the first one! You think your skill level is high enough to protect your chief? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I'm beat! Well done, trainee. Uh, Care for some tea? I would love some. You're expending excess effort. You ought to trust the suit more. I'll try. It's tough. steal them, is there? We reached the second island! We're only halfway there! It's so far! Huh? Ryoko, you think you can go on ahead without me? Uh, sure. Kire! Oh, you caught up. Who did this to you? This really ferocious looking cat, you should have heard him hiss. Kidding. It was a gang of Koga elites, big shock. They broke my suit's core, too. We should report them for this. No way. Like the principal said, all that matters is not being found out. It's my fault for not paying attention. That still doesn't make what happened all right. <clears throat> Hand over your manju. Or maybe you're looking to start a fight with Koga. Enough! Look at this. I'm amazed you managed to even leave the starting point, future chief. Return what you've stolen. Huh? Don't know what you mean. <laughs> Damn it! Look, a wild boar! If we struck back, it would be self-defense, right? He is the one that started the fight. True. Why don't we say he got carried away, leading to fatal results? Uh, I made it. Indeed you have. Uh. 
Pretty painful, right? Getting kicked by another ninja suit? <laughs> Careful, you might break something. That bastard's actually got some moves. If it ends up getting damaged, your suit will gradually lose power. So be absolutely certain to never break the core. What the? Give up already! Time to die. So long. That'll be enough. He attacked us first. Well, I'll have to punish both sides then. Need to go to the infirmary? I'm okay. Thanks. Very well. By the way, the manju will all be eaten up soon. You better hurry. Uh, here. Huh? I couldn't take yours. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not mine. Uh, worse? You lost it? Then you have to start from the beginning. Hey! You two! You didn't see... Why, that little... Don't make you pay for that, you shit! You've disgraced Koga enough today. You're nuts! That was a dangerous thing to do! But I wasn't found out, right? <laughs> This is far enough. Uh, but... The assignment. You haven't finished it. Ryutoki? Are you okay? Ryoko, you all done? Yes. Now I just have to make it back. Great to hear. Um, think you could help her for me? She's been injured. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. The timer's still going. Thank you. Your name's Kire? That's pretty. And yours is Ryoko? Howdy. I just met him, but Itoki's kind of wonderful. You pretty much say whatever's on your mind, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got the last one. Oh, I'm just in time. To write the character Shinobi, you must place the blade above the heart. Huh? To become a true ninja, one must always remember how both parts are equally important. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> guy just transferred and he's already some kind of pariah. Well, maybe it's got something to do with us threatening anyone who tries talking with Ega students. Just remember, you've got nobody in your corner, future chief. Kosetsu. Don't let them get to you. You're right. I can get whatever I want. Uh... Gutless. Hey, what about you? I like it. You liar! Would you mind if I joined you? Of course not. We never got to finish our talk about ninja tools. Look, great minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful, grateful for, for my food. food. Reviewing the investigation into Koga Chief Kishimaru Minobe's death. Late on my first day. Your mother said. Look, lady, I'm sorry. <laughs> Evidence at the scene was virtually non existent. One of the few clues we have are lacerations left behind from the murder weapon, which are characteristic of wounds created by an Iga ninja sword. Accordingly, the First Division has used all this info and has come up with a single person of interest Tokisada Kaga, whom we will begin looking into. I'm Shioni Kozaki, assigned to this unit starting today. Don't apologize. It's a waste of time. Yes, sir. I am honored to be working with you all, especially alongside the captain overseeing the first division and the head of the NSC. Niceties are also a waste. I will be assigning you the task of tailing one Tokisada Kaga. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Hold on, sir. She's a rookie with minimal experience. You're doubting my judgment? <sighs> Never, sir. You can begin by telling me how much you know about him. Nothing quite definite aside from his nickname, Tokisada the Demigod. Stories I've heard about him sound like superstition. Take a look. <laughs> What's that? Looks like some black hazy cloud. That's Tokisada. <laughs> he was so fast, the surveillance cameras couldn't capture a clean image. If you want my advice, operate under the assumption that all the superstitions you heard about him are true. Hey there, Guntetsu. Look who's here. <laughs> There's something I've been wanting to chat with you about. In two days, you'll take a written test. The exam will cover the workings of ninja tools. A minimum amount of them will be provided, so study thoroughly. <sighs> Please teach me all about ninja tools. I'm more than happy to. I was pretty confident when it comes to my academics, but this is so technical. I got lost just reading the questions. Idiot. That's kind of the reason I'm studying. Huh? You're really trying to solve the problems? Huh? When it comes to a ninja tools exam, you're supposed to use them to steal the test answers. Huh? The day before the written portion is given, the teacher hides the answers somewhere at the school. Your job is to get your hands on them. Obviously, if the teacher catches you in the act, you're receiving a failing grade. Wait, seriously? All we need is one copy of the answers. So let's work together. Well, we'll crush this as a team. Uh, is that so? Come on now. Suzuku, are you really gonna leave that Iga asshole be? There's no reason for me to act now. That time will come soon enough. Then you won't mind if I make a move on my own. Go ahead. Uh, like this? You have to have a more delicate touch with them! Uh, really? You're doing it all wrong! Uh, I'm sorry. No, I was rude. What kind of ninja can't even do the most basic maintenance on their equipment? It's sad, huh? Don't let it bother you. Most shinobi rely on their ninja tool craftsmen to handle that. Also, I'm doing this because I like it. Look here. Do you know what this mark means? Saiga Village? The ninja gear, cores, and tools the school provides were all made by my village. I never get tired of seeing the symbol. It reminds me of home. You want to be a professional ninja tool craftsman, don't you? Very much so, but I wish it was that simple. My father is actually the leader of Saiga Village. The thing is, ever since I was little, he's constantly told me how I won't succeed his position as ruler. Instead, he's insisted I live life like a girl, his words. I had to push hard to get him to let me attend the academy. But he told me I have to cut ties with the ninja world after I graduate. How come? Anyone can see how much you love ninja tools. I'm sure whatever my father's reasons are, they're perfectly justified. Still, having the decision made for me, regardless of my wishes, it's hard to accept, you know? You're outside, aren't you? Me becoming a ninja already seems pretty questionable. But village chief? It's ridiculous. How come it's not my uncle, or even you, Kosetsu? Ninja value plot points. But with Ryoko... They have their ways, and we have ours. Won't you really be satisfied with me as chief? I'd obey regardless. That's the ninja way. <laughs> Sorry for greeting you with a shuriken like that. Word is, things are pretty tense between the Iga and Koga these days. You can't blame me. Think you had gone and done something stupid. Who do you think you're talking to? Well, aren't you the demigod? Just a salary man with a low monthly income. <laughs> then let's talk business instead. Say, could Iga help me out and buy these? Mm -hmm. It 
a tool. Why not take one home to the village as a souvenir? Uh, pretty neat, huh? Yeah, no thanks. Fewer ninjas, as you know, which means tools aren't selling like they used to. Come on, these guys? Sure bet. We don't have money to gamble with. Try reaching out to Koga. There's no chance they'll want to buy them. What makes you say that? Not too long ago. They came by the shop with some news. Said they're shifting their ninja tool orders to factories overseas. If you're willing to match prices, we'd consider keeping our business relationship. You're dreaming, pal. Is this some kind of scam? Trying to get that Saiga quality for scraps? No, of course not. But we do have a different job for you. Something only you can make. Huh? 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 Money won't be an issue. Have you people lost your damn minds? Blueprints for what? That I can't disclose. Wouldn't be very professional of me, so no point in dwelling on it. He took all the documents with him when he left. You say yes? It's a huge job that'll require the whole village. Meaning if I did accept it, we'd pretty much be their slaves. <sighs> However, if I don't agree, Saiga Village will be finished. Of course, I'm also considering ending it with my generation. You have a successor, you know. <laughs> You're talking about my darling daughter. She deserves much better. Living happily under the sun rather than with these hardships. Seems like a real shame. <sighs> All right. Take care of these tasks. And when do you want them done? ASAP. Get to it. You're paid to smile and look good, so spare me the attitude, sweetheart. The safe's with the answers were set up today. There's more than one, so let's pick whichever's going to have the least amount of competition. <laughs> right. Hey, um... Uh, do you think we could join you guys? Uh, but won't that paint a target on your backs? To be honest, I come from a very small ninja village. I felt like I was powerless. But then... When I saw you that day, it gave me this sense of hope. <sighs> Sweet! The mission is tonight. So until then, let's hammer out our strategy. Go time. Right. Guess I should get to work. This is Woodpecker. We've reached the office. Owl, how's the coast? We are all clear. Okay, we can use this to scout the inside. Oh. You take it from here, Itoki. Huh? You're sure? That's a bad idea. I want him to experience how wonderful ninja tools can be. Um, so this is a shuriken, huh? But it basically operates like a drone, too. Right. You'll be controlling it with your device. The camera in the center will collect visual data, which will be displayed via a link with my device. It's time to get new contacts. 
picking up a ton of cameras, as far as systems go. Ugh, got thermal sensors? Looks like heat haze is a no-go. What a pain. Ready? She probably has it. Can you get it from her? No, you're crazy! We have our hands full to spreading! <laughs> we should split up! some more time, Kide. I can't get you much. I just need one minute. Half an hour to crack a lock. What a piece of junk. Precious blueprints are not inside. Time. <laughs> Security! Something's in the duct near the president's office! track of Tokisada and failed to gather any information. You want to be reassigned? No, sir, please let me stay on! Then your assignment will remain unchanged. Uh, but are you sure? I require people who won't lose heart when faced with an opponent like him. Thank you very much, sir! You're wasting my time again. Uh, and what about the Koga factory? Security was too tight for them to only be manufacturing foodstuffs inside. Find any evidence of a second operation? Not that I saw. You may all begin. <laughs> the questions are different. They switched them. Man, I wish I could have seen the look on their faces. I bet those losers were sweating bullets. 
I knew they'd never realize the answer had been switched out. I mean, come on, guys. They're all idiots. <laughs> We're so finished. Well, actually, even though those weren't the same questions we thought we had the answers for, I managed to figure them out anyway. You huh? still solved them? You're kidding me. I'm from Psycho Village, after all. Seriously, Ryoko, you'd make an excellent ninja tool craftsman. <laughs> I can't imagine uh. not getting to do what you love the most. It sounds like torture. Is putting up with it your only choice? I won't lose hope. Things will work out. Not only did a ninja sneak inside, now this bullshit. I never asked to place this shipment. Your memo was quite specific, but go ahead and read it if you don't believe me. <clears throat> huh? A mistaken order. Sorry, but production's already underway. But you can rest assured the quality will match the price. That's a Saga Village guarantee. Business seems to be picking up. Seems that way. Going cheap on an old model almost bit me in the ass. Need a new one. Gonna take a couple of days. Can't rush these things. Well, guess you'll just have to put your retirement on hold till then. Funny how when you get old you start talking to yourself a lot more. Kido saw me. This meeting would have taken place several years ago. He wanted me to make him a ninja core. Unlike any other. One that could hold far more energy than even the best current model. But I told him even we couldn't do that and sent him on his way. Why did you... Look at me talking to myself again. <laughs> did you discover anything? Yes. I obtained intel from Saiga's leader. I believe Koga's aim is the secret ninja corps passed down within Iga. <gasps> now wait just a minute. What does he mean? Iga's secret ninja corps doesn't actually exist, does it? A secret technology, born out of war and then sealed away by the Iga chief? A power far too dangerous for human hands to ever wield. I always assumed it was nothing but a legend. Well, it does exist. The location of Iga's secret ninja corps is closely guarded. Only passed down from one chief to the next. Should you wish to see it, I would have to decline. But I assure you, it's real. All right, but what purpose would they have for looking for it? Because Koga is clearly trying to instigate a war. Who <laughs> knew? No, the cleaning penalty is not so bad when we work together. You got a perfect score on your test, Ryoko. You don't have to be here. I wanted to help my friends. <laughs> It's almost like we're back at a normal school, huh, Kosetsu? What's the big idea? There's a traitor among us. It was most likely Koga that switched out the answers. <laughs> Meaning they had to have known which safe we'd target. Someone is in direct contact with them. There's no way. out there. My dream is to create a world with no ninja. Without us? What do you mean by that? Ninja exists to protect peace from the shadows. Therefore, if there weren't any of us left, that would mean the world had finally put war and killing behind it. See my point? <sighs> I don't want you or the next generation involved in these affairs for your hands to be covered in blood. Let me help you. Together we'll achieve your dream. You insist. <laughs> Be silent, my heart. Now that the bell's rung, we will begin homeroom. Miss Mitsuhashi, where's Nuoto? It would appear he decided to start his break early. <sighs> Enjoying his summer while we're here? Jealous. Don't start daydreaming about sandy beaches just yet. Next week's your end of term test. <laughs> it's a practical exam that combines all classes. The assignment is extremely dangerous, and every year, students are injured. In the worst cases, yes, there have been fatal accidents. A ninja walks with death, pressed shoulder to shoulder. Keep your wits or they'll overtake you. 
Students getting killed. Is it really that common? Based on what I've heard, every year there's around one or two fatalities. Who was it, ten? That's a huge difference. Koga is <laughs> bound to make a move. Think there's any chance I could skip the exam? Well, you totally bombed the one on Ninja Tools. So if you do decide to play hooky, don't complain when you get expelled. Expelled? <laughs> Hello, Island. <sighs> Dead man walking. Throughout the extensive history of Ninja, Koga has boasted the greatest power among clans. They maintain and expand their dominion by swallowing up other villages. But the Ninja ordinances, aren't they supposed to prohibit acts of aggression? Koga applies financial pressure. It's a pretty clever workaround. But there's no way they should let that stand! It's perfectly legal. It was their previous chief, Kishin Maru, who changed all of that. He was committed to walking a path of peace, working hand in hand with the other ninja villages. He was even dubbed their finest ninja, and admired not only by his people, but by many ninja from different clans. And somehow, despite that, he was killed. I can't even begin to come up with a motive. Assuming that Iga was behind the assassination, still, why him? Regardless of the reason, the bigger problem is now Koga holds a fierce grudge against Iga. We're a hair's breadth away from a war breaking out, which means people getting hurt, or worse, ninja, as well as ordinary citizens will be dragged into this conflict. So it's up to us to uncover the truth and prevent this from escalating. That concludes my report. What about the contract with Saiga? It'll require more time. Their role is essential. What? Implement forceful measures if it must come down to that. Yes, sir. This meeting is over. Hosen, could you and I speak for a moment? Yes. Have you reached out to Suzuku about the Academy yet? No, sir. Is there some issue with my son? His grades are top of the class. They say his brilliance ranks alongside Kishinmaru's. Whereas I was a disappointment who couldn't even get into the Academy. You have a fine boy. I'm honored you think so. As you can see, I am frail and could depart this world at any moment. As to the issue of who should succeed as chief, it is weighed on my mind. And I consider Suzuku an exceptional candidate. I swear, your vision will live on through me. troubling you. I failed to truly comprehend Chief Kishinmaru and what he wanted. The reason he desired peace above anything else was because he understood the pain of loss. Once you experience that feeling, it becomes difficult hurting others. Let's tackle the practical exam using our old dorm team. This'll be strategy meeting number one. Sorry, but I can't join you. Huh? How come? I'd only cause problems for the team. Good luck. I know you'll all ace the test. Perfect. Whoever the traitor is, they can't do anything. Itoki! It's only a prototype of the Sasaga Village's latest concealment tool. I want you to have it. When you pair the mask with a ninja suit, it can change your appearance and even alter your voice. This new version can hold way more disguise data than previous models, meaning you can even make yourself look like anybody from the old dorm that you want That's to. That's very nice, but I'm fine. Please take uh. it with you just in case. The Academy hasn't handed out any ninja tools for disguises. None of the Koga students will expect you to be using one. It is sure to come in handy. If they discovered I was using this, they'd figure out where it came from, so I can't. You're always concerned about other people. Just this once. How about letting someone else take care of you for a change? Go ahead and just waltz right in. During the practical exam, we'll make our move. Sorry, what are you talking about? I'll take down Suzuku. Uh, he intends to kill you. If you two engage in combat, I have no doubt he'll succeed. Uh, our best chance is for me to strike first and defeat him. 
You'll have to find a way to take care of the other Koga Ninja. Not happening. Yumika told me to protect you, and that's what I'm going to do. I don't care what order she gave you! If we do this, then you might just end up getting killed yourself! That's a possibility. <sighs> and one I can't live with! Why are you so willing to die for someone like me? Because I'm a ninja. <sighs> that's messed up! You can't go through life with this kill-or-be-killed mentality! I can, and I will. <sighs> don't follow me! How is the young master doing at school? Good. He texted me he's alive. I'm relieved to hear that. The ninja academy, do you think he's fitting in? Hmm? You see, I never attended myself. And for some reason, I never heard Hidetoki talk much about his time there either. Are you worried about him? Just afraid. He resents me for sending him. Taking a late night stroll, young man? Uh... Sorry, I'll go back to my dorm soon. If you're in no rush, then come with me. My apologies for making you humor an old man. No, sir. I'm enjoying this. Is your tea too hot? No, sir. It's just... Is killing part of being a ninja? The three principles clearly state you're not to be discovered, betray, or kill. I was told my father died because he was one. Hmm. Then my village is responsible for killing Koga's chief, and now they want to see me dead for the sake of revenge. Is that really all a part of it, too? There's always talk about a peaceful world without any war, crime, or killing. The whole idea may be a fairy tale. But even so, it's too precious to give up on. That's why ninja have to shoulder the dirty work, laboring from within the shadows. To protect this so-called fairy tale we refer to as peace. You know, there have been other students that have gone here that asked me that same question. Huh? Kishin Madu Minobe. Huh? Interestingly enough, your father as well. Hirotoki Sakuraba. Huh? Upon hearing what I had to say, they both turned to me and gave the same response. Maybe so, but that's not the kind of life that I want to live. Uh. Thank you for the tea. <laughs> You're here, aren't you, Kosetsu? So, what am I supposed to do? The exam has one simple task. Take a ninja core from someone. Practice by trying to steal mine. Uh-huh, very funny. Huh? <laughs> you're quick. You know, you're just slow. <sighs> Shut up. Still, using a surprise attack was very ninja-like. <laughs> trying to fight head-on is reckless. There's really only one way to survive. Lie in wait, and take the enemy by surprise. If I fail, make a run for it! Run! Come on! Hoof legs, faster! I'll strike Suzuku as soon as we start. Meanwhile, you lie in wait until you grab someone's ninja core. Then hide again until the exam ends. Let's make this your first ambush point. Looks good to me. We've got more training. Uh, already? With this, we can take down Itoki Sakuraba. <laughs> Do you realize what you're talking about? What's this? What made you think we'd want to go along? Yeah! Right. 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 
Seems you don't approve. Then step forward and show you're superior to me. <gasps> We're doing this for the sake of Koga. Are you guys warriors of this village, or just cowards who don't belong? Let's lay down our lives for the memory of Chief Kishinmaru. Attention! Soon you'll take your end-of-term exam. You pass if you obtain another student's ninja core within the time limit provided. If you lose yours, you fail. And remember this, the use of ninja tools to injure or kill is strictly prohibited. You may now begin! Yosetsu! If things go wrong, remember to run. They won't. Just like we planned, Vajra and Kundali start heading over to Point Fifth Hot Hell. Vajra Kundali here, outside Point Fifth Hot Hell. We're going in now. down quite a bit. Good work for a traitor. Uh, uh, but how did she... Uh, On the map, huh? Exactly like we planned. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Take his ninja core and hide before something goes wrong. Yeah, I'm about to. I didn't have any choice. Uh, they threatened my village. Said it'd be crushed! I had to do it! I'm sorry! You have to believe me! What is it? I found Itoki. Where did he go? Operations complete. I'll handle the rest. Huh? No way. <laughs> I thought it was a stretch, but seeing Suzuku's plan worked. He complimented you, by the way. Had this crazy idea how we couldn't beat you even if we took you on all at the same time. <laughs> Dead, even if we are too. Oh, an explosion. Contact the medical team now. Reason for killing a person. 
We have to endure the suffering, because there's no other choice! Otherwise, all it leaves us with is more hurt or dead! I refuse to accept that! I won't die. Not here! So that's it? That's your definition of justice?! Don't give out! Keep running, buddy! Then... Come on, just a little bit further! Show yourself, you coward! You can't run, Itsuki Sakuraba! you much. All the same, I'd rather you didn't become a killer. beat up herself and still never once left your bedside what'd she say you ought to get some rest too if anything happens to him i'll slaughter all of koga terrifying as always at least we both survived the test what the hell do you mean we went through all that trouble and for nothing i'm sorry <laughs> i don't want your freaking apology Damn it. Damn it all. Stuck crawling through air ducts again. Data extraction nearly complete. As expected, all the values are ideal. As if there was any doubt, he is Koga's finest ninja after all. up on your stuff. You knew I was following you the whole time and wanted me to see the lab. Just what were they doing back there? Figuring that out's your job. Are you still preoccupied over the traitor? It's hard to think about it that way after finding out why he did it. You've got but... such a gentle soul, Itsuki. One of these days, it's gonna bite you in the butt! <laughs> You've been warned! Sorry to interrupt when you're so busy. This is going to sound insane, but apparently a bunch of students from my dorm all of a sudden stopped showing up for school. Perhaps you had something to do with it? Mr. Serious here. <clears throat> Find it in your heart to spare me, pretty please. There are several tasks that require you stay where you are. Yes, sir. Whatever you need, Master Suzuku. Just say the word. Hey, thank you for letting me stay here over the summer. <laughs> and I'm Kirei Kisagawa. Thanks for letting me stay, too. Please, both of you rise. I'm sorry about what happened, Ryoko. They're saying that the machinery caught fire in the middle of the night. It's definitely a move straight out of the Koga playbook. Either way, this is the end of the line for Saiga. What's the plan now? No choice. We take the job from Koga. In the end, turns out we've become their subcontractors, but rest assured, I won't forget this. Truth is, I'm worried the most about Ryoko. We've wound up having to babysit the kids over their summer break. So, another one or two won't make any difference. Are you sure? Ego welcomes all who wish to stay and pursues none who leave. Now please relax and think of our village as a second home. I appreciate your hospitality. 
All right, these will be your rooms. Wow, it's like we're staying at a real con. How awesome! Yeah, I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. Sorry again for tagging along with Ryoko and being like a total third wheel. Hey, stop apologizing. Your dad's on a long-term mission, plus now I get to spend school break with my friends. It's a win-win. I want to see all the major sights here in Iga! Sure. It's mostly mountains and rivers, though. Keep your guard up. Yeah, you know I will. Itoki! Uh, about time to go! Right, got it! I'll be back in a little while. Oh, where are you going? The cemetery, to visit my father. <gasps> your dad? I didn't know. In that case, we'll just explore the estate until you get back. So old. I wonder how long this has been here. And what realistic eyes. Free? What is it? Father, I want to be put on the front line for the assault on Iga. Where'd you hear about that? Talk is going around. A proposal by a small minority within the leadership. And where do you stand? I heard several COPA students were injured in an accident while taking their end-of-term <sighs> exam. I'm curious, what do you have to show for these sacrifices? I promise I won't mess up again. I wasn't under the impression that you did. <laughs> Didn't you want to protect Chief Kishinmaru's ideals? <sighs> Peace without the need for ninja. You held yourself back to preserve that vision, or was I wrong? Nearly all of my life, you've told me to silence my heart. I tried my best to quell my rage toward Iga. And because of that, I developed doubts. So now, I'm going to listen to my rage. this while tailing Tokisara. They don't correspond to any current ninja tools. Obviously, Koga is trying to create something we've never seen before using Kishinmaru's body. Within their village, there's talk spreading of launching a mass attack on Iga. This may be connected somehow. Hmm. If I may, I would like to give my opinion, Captain. Go ahead. Instead of us investigating Iga, shouldn't we look into Koga? I'm not saying we neglect solving this case. But preventing an even greater tragedy from occurring feels like it should take higher priority. There's no evidence one will even take place. But sir! Your emotions are only dulling your instincts. <laughs> and I ask that you refrain from disclosing these facts to the other divisions. Why? Unconfirmed intelligence just muddies the waters. You are to continue following Tokisada Kaga. Sir. You want me to drive us directly to the cemetery? Actually, there's somewhere I'd like to stop by first. Oh, Yumika. I appreciate you coming to visit. And how is he doing? He's smiling just a bit, or at least I think so. This is my husband. It was during a mission. He came back, but was never the same. By the way, I forgot to tell you the principal mentioned Dad. Really? And what did he say? How if being a ninja only meant doing dirty work, then he didn't want to be one. I don't doubt it. That sounds like him. Your father would accept ninjas regardless of what village they came from and let them become a part of Iga. No one was turned away, and those who left were not pursued. He tried changing our world through that policy. Sounds familiar. We're still a long way from his vision. The night he was killed, your father was out on a mission with Tokisada. <sighs> Even to this day, he continues blaming himself for what happened. And as chief over the village, I have sent many people on dangerous missions, not sure if they would ever return. Sadly, it was I who ordered Reha's husband on the mission that left him in his current state. <gasps> when you become a ninja, you must be prepared to bear sins that can never be fully erased. 
That's an inevitable part of this life we live. Sorry for making you run errands with me. We're more than happy to help you pick up groceries. You are hosting us for the summer after all. I imagine there'd be more shuttered shops in this district, but it's really lively here. I've been told they do a lot of business with the Iga service area. I know our relationship goes far back. I feel weird asking for this much. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Ituki. Is Yumika here with you? Nope. I'm on errand duty. That's fun. So, have you finally gotten the hang of using a shuriken yet? Uh how did you know about- Well, 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 look who's here. How's school going so far? You having fun? Nobody's saying you can't take time off and hang with your cute friends, but don't you go neglecting your training either. Wait a second, are all of you ninja also? Well, the truth is, Yutaki, up until recently, you were the only one around who wasn't. I literally had no idea. That's because we're good at our job. <laughs> now, let's see what you've got here. Uh, uh... Hello there. Good work getting those errands done. Here, have a sweet. You ladies can take one too. There's uh, more than enough. Is this, uh... Of course, you aren't a child anymore. <sighs> this is impossible. As the only boy, you have to judge which of us has the best swimsuit. Uh, uh. I mean, hers isn't bad. And of course the mask is still on. Not like I'm complaining, though. Are you seriously picking me? Shut up! Are you even wearing a swimsuit? <sighs> Gotta focus on catching those sweet fish before the sun sets! I brought some ninja tools that might help us out. Yeah? Let's see them. So this is an explosive which has the power of a grenade despite its size. The blast radius is five meters. And this is a thousand needle bomb, which explodes like a normal cluster bomb and shoots a thousand projectiles. There won't be much of the sweet fish left afterwards, though. They never thought of that. Kosetsu? Sweetfish's territory. When they gather and try chasing it out, you simply hook them. When it comes to sweetfish, they all hate the decoy. In a way, I'm kind of describing myself. Uh, what do you mean? Put on an act! Fool them! Well, since you asked, I don't have a village. My parents are actually freelance ninja. I didn't even know that was a thing. Freelancers are in a weakened position. So we have to rely on the larger villages. Only thing is, you don't get to stay for long. When the job's done, it's like getting chased out of their territory. Don't ever drop the act. And never trust anyone else. Our ancestors were slaughtered because they placed their faith in others. Understand? Yes, sir. Where did you get this plaything? From a friend of mine? Through trickery, I assume. I didn't trick anyone. It was a gift. You little fool! People are nothing but food to be consumed! 
Once you grow attached to a meal, it will hold you back. Deceive. Never drop your act. Lies alone will protect the Fuma. You will succeed as our leader without anyone else ever realizing it. Survive. Live only for that purpose. Do it. By the way, I've been meaning to thank you, Kide. Yeah? What for? I never planned on being a ninja. I didn't even realize they existed in the first place. Despite the fact you're gonna be Iga's next chief? Yeah. That's why I was anxious when I went to the academy. But you helped me out on my first day there. From then on, I knew things would be okay. I don't think it's fair comparing yourself to a decoy. You're a kind person who would extend a hand and help anyone. <laughs> Wow, the four of you really delivered. What are you going to do with this many fish? Today, all the ninja of the village will gather in order to show remembrance to our previous chief. Uh, you mean you've been doing this every year? I didn't even have a clue. We were hiding everything involving ninja from you before now, and successfully, I might add. I can't put into words how overjoyed I am. We finally have a chance to celebrate this together. But there's one more task I need you to do before the dinner. Just name it. Whatever you need, Kirei and I will be more than happy to do our part. It wouldn't be right to ask our guests to assist. Those who don't put in the work don't get to eat. Well, in that case, let's head to the kitchen then. That's pretty good. Oh, there, Uncle. You've been dodging work this whole time. Depends how much you know. I'm checking for poison. Look how hard everyone's working. What a bunch of good people. Willing to go through all this trouble. You're so invested because it's for Yumika's sake. Huh? When the previous chief passed away, this organically started as a way to cheer her up. These days it's grown into a huge event we regularly celebrate. You see Kasetsu over there? You know how she has no family? Was abandoned. <gasps> Yumika took her in and raised her like a daughter. Because of that, she would do anything for your mother. Most of these people have been helped by her. It's that, or they just like her. Uh, hey. Ah! You want one? Why am I convinced I'm the worst at stealth? If it makes you feel better compared to me, most people are. So I have to know, is Iga Village responsible for killing Chief Kishinmaru? What kind of investigator just comes out and asks that? Uh, 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 not strong, good. Friends and guests, let's enjoy this feast with the knowledge Hidetoki Sakuraba is watching over us. Thank you for your protection. Thank, Thank you for the food! Could someone take his boots? Stop pretending you don't want to hear me bare my heart and soul. Go for it! Woohoo! This is nuts. How much has he had? We're ignoring formalities tonight, so please excuse him. You see, everyone wants to celebrate the fact we reached this point. When the previous chief passed away, Iga nearly collapsed. And it was Yumika that brought us back from the brink. Step aside. Are you hurt? Our chief was just murdered. A terrible accident! You fool! They killed him! I saw it with my own eyes! The only cure for your stupidity is death! If we don't retaliate against them, just what kind of example will the village be setting? Are you listening to yourself? With the chief dead, the other clans will try to take advantage, which is exactly why we need to demonstrate Iga's strength before it's too late! Drastic action will only spark a war! We should have expelled him from this village a long time ago! The only talent he has is for killing! His thirst for revenge will only make things worse! Revenge or justice? <laughs> the last thing we need is infighting. The next chief hasn't been decided yet. No one can take his place! Seems that Demigod can't change his nature. You and all your pride! 
But the chief went ahead and protected you anyway. Now he's dead and his blood's on your hands! Please, that's quite enough. You're a god of pestilence. Block the exits! Don't allow him to leave! I said stop this! Just let him go! Please, we don't need any more ego bloodshed tonight! All of tonight. you, put down your weapons! Okay, Sada! We will not have any more of this! No! He's dangerous, Yumika! You aren't a ninja! Please, keep your distance! They also lose their way. Seeking revenge will only lead you down a path of destruction. Remember what you should be protecting, what is important. My husband, your chief, loved the village of Iga. The man sought peace to bring calm to Iga and the ninja world. And he gave everything. Look at you. Have you no shame? Your chief has only just died. And the idiots he protected are already turning their blades on each other. There is one thing we can all do. Endure. Hidetoki may be gone, but not his will. That's all that's left. That's what oh, give it a rest! <laughs> we're all here thanks to you, Mika. And able to <laughs> smile again. Hey, Ma... Uh, Chief. Why aren't you watching the celebration? What you wanted was to protect the village, right? I know. I need to strengthen my resolve somehow. But it's obvious. Iga is worth it. Itoki, there's something we need to discuss. Uh... Be right back. Uh... A moment of your time. Oh, Please tell me what life is like at the Academy for the Young Master. It's rude, I know, but I can't ask Kosetsu. You know how she is. Itoki's such a wonderful person. I mean, right after transferring to the school, he ended up helping me out. You, you don't say. Yeah, uh, I wanted to hunt a bear, so he kind of lent me a hand. A bear? I thank you, girls, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> In truth, I was so worried about him. The boy had to give up his old life and leave his friends behind, so I imagine he felt completely lost. He's had so much placed on his shoulders just because he was born the son of the Iga chief. You must carry out your destiny as a Fuma-born ninja. That's why seeing the young master smiling again puts my mind at ease. I'm grateful to both of you. I don't feel like I did anything special. He told me about you two. How he can enjoy life at the Academy, knowing he has you by his side. Even though we've only just met, I know he considers both of you dear friends. Come on, are you that upset about school starting? Uh, uh, it's not that, just... I couldn't think of a better way of spending summer break. Listen, guys. After graduation is over with, does that officially make us all full-fledged ninja? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. I was just wondering if that's when you start feeling like you really are one. I've wondered the same thing. One day, yes. Uh? You'll wake up and you will. Everything works like that. So there's no telling when. <laughs> Young Master, we have an emergency! The Academy, it's closing temporarily. What? Does anyone know why? The large numbers of absences. That's what they're saying. Most likely it's an excuse. Everyone come with me for a moment. I'm here at the Tukyo Nature Park, where the African daisies have recently bloomed in mass. This is an excuse. This is what you wanted to show us? It's a signal. <laughs> they're convening a Ninja Grand Council. It can only be done by a single person. The head command of the NSC. The leaders of all the prominent villages are called to form a high council of 13 ninja clan heads. Meetings are rarely convened, but are used to decide the future of all ninja in Japan. It has been a full 70 years since the last council was assembled. Jesus Christ! Are you kidding me? Why now? Would you care for some champagne? Sorry, but business calls. I'll get off here. Pray for me to have a safe landing, though. Absolutely, sir. The Egan Ninja hold a seat on the High Council along with the other villages. I never heard of it. 
Sure kept it secret. I can tell how important it is just from the name. Kind of sounds like a big deal. I was told during the last one, an armistice was signed to suspend the never-ending war and ushered in an era of peace between the villages. Blasted shadow hunters. They haven't sniffed anything out yet, have they? No need to slow down operations. You are to continue with your work undaunted. Come along with me, Jose. So, when a ninja grand council is held, there are certain special precautions that need to be taken. Typically, village leaders abide by the non-aggression pact when they're gathered in one place. But you must still employ vigilance. Dismissed. Captain, wait! How come you didn't say anything to me or the rest of the team? I judge the matter to be on a need-to-know basis. <laughs> That's absurd! Not even the Council's agenda?! When the meeting starts, First Division will be handling room security. It'll become clear then. You know, I'm feeling manipulated. Huh? I joined the NSC out of a desire to do what's right. But these days, it feels like we're constantly operating in some moral gray zone. So at the very least, I'd like to understand the mission I've been assigned to. Tell me. What makes something right? If you can't answer that question, just focus on your orders until you can. Take care of things here until I return. Sure. Wait, uh... Since I'm your heir, shouldn't I be going along too? Your job is to keep studying, all right? Don't go neglecting your education just because your summer break was extended. Okay. I'll be back soon. Have a safe trip. I have an order of fried rice. But hold the eggs. You got that? You want dumplings? Give me three boiled and two of them fried. Coming right up. <laughs> Sorry, girls. I'm afraid I don't have any time to sign autographs today. But don't you worry. I'll be sure to make it up to you all next time. He must like photo booths. Why'd he go in alone? Tetsu Suzunone of Saigo will have her backs, no question. Also, Pizin's Tamayo Katori. I haven't seen her in ages. Her allegiances may lie elsewhere. You're the only person who's ever won over that stubborn old woman. No one else could. When the Grand Council convenes, do me a favor. Don't let comments like that slip out. Uh, beg your pardon, ma'am. showed up fashionably late. Their village is teetering on the edge, but hey, they've got pride! <laughs> Please excuse our tardiness. Someone went and took the wrong exit. Ah, Tokisada the demigod. Do you remember me? We never did finish that duel to the death. <laughs> now you're a chauffeur. So it's true, you did lose your fangs. Same goes for you. Oh, come now. Fighting never has been my strong suit. You must have me confused with that one over there. <laughs> His type always gets on my nerves. Of course, I detest all this pomp and circumstance more. Pipe down, you little pipsqueak. Eh? Oh, right. You're sensitive about your height. Forgive me for being rude. You sure you want to die looking like a cosplayer? If that's a challenge, let's settle the Kawana Kojima business here and now. Silence, uh all of you. We've assembled to talk. Violence has no place here. He has a point, Ms. Yachio. There's no need to dishevel your lovely outfit. <laughs> No matter how many times I see that smirk, it annoys me. How irritating. Yes, irritating indeed. Mm -hmm. Since the players are all present, shall we begin the show? Be prepared to act at any moment. Right. right. With everyone here, I call this Ninja Grand Council to order. Uh, hold on a moment. I don't see any representatives from Saiga Village. Recently, Saiga has fallen under Koga's umbrella. <laughs> Saiga's workshop has officially become our subsidiary, the result of a mutual agreement. Thus, the village withdraws its representation and has sworn to side with Koga in all decisions presented today. Something isn't right, ma'am. Tamayo, she isn't here from Bizen either. 
Also, as for Fuma, they too are under our protection. Unfortunately, our chief cannot attend. I am serving as his proxy. <laughs> Just call yourself the chief. Fuma's done this charade 500 years. Well, it's understandable that you'd be wary. The first Grand Council in 70 years. Calling one's a surprise. You'd agree? I'll get straight to the point. The ninja ordinances have been broken again and again. The balance we've strived to protect all these years is being threatened by one party. That culprit is Koga Village. <sighs> <laughs> you mean that little disagreement between Iga and Koga? All this over a slight? No. We have looked into it. Koga's power grab is vast, extending throughout Japan. And your proof? Just a minute ago, you said Saga is now your subsidiary. And where precisely are they currently working? A ninja tool factory for Koga. And yet, there are no records of Saga currently working at any of Koga's holdings' registered facilities. Instead, it seems most of the members of their village have suddenly vanished without a trace. And it doesn't end there. There have been many cases where small-scale villages are never heard from again. At the Ninja Academy, I hear voluntary withdrawals have far exceeded the norm. Sadly, that is currently true. <sighs> All this time, the captain was investigating Koga for acts of aggression. But why did he hide the truth from us and look into it alone? Likely because of Koga's influence. It could reach everywhere, even inside the NSC. Curious. If true, we have a problem. And what is Koga's response? These vile allegations are baseless. Well, I guess that puts the issue to rest. Not quite. I would like to hear from everyone at this table. If Koga has acted against you or your village, I ask you to step forward and testify. <sighs> if the ninja ordinances have been violated, the testimony of those affected holds great weight. Depending on what is revealed tonight, it's possible Koga's chief may even be arrested on the spot. So this is why he summoned the Grand Council. Koga is powerful. Arresting them will prove difficult. But if the other council members side with us and we surround them, they can't escape. No comment. <laughs> can't say our relationship has been especially close, but I don't recall any problems either. Same goes for me. Kurohabaki and Koga have deep ties, but we've never felt used by them. Chief of Togakure. These days, my battleground extends far beyond Japan's borders. In short, no. In terms of my concerns, I'm more invested with my fans' opinions than my villages. Yes! As we attempt to turn Ninja into a global business, that's the mindset we should have. Chief of Bizen. Uh, 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 actually, I... have nothing. <laughs> what the hell is this? The Grand Council's a sacred event, and this is how we're using it these days? This might be rude of me to say, but Koga and Iga, in a sense, aren't they both guilty of aggression? What I want to know is how they brought down the mighty Kishinmaru, that he's involved. <laughs> Captain Goshigawara, you have heard from the Council. It would appear whatever your concerns were, they were completely unfounded. That's a bit premature, as I have yet to give my answer. Go on, but choose your words carefully. My patience can only be tested for so long in the presence of a filthy chief slayer, particularly when they spout lies. Regarding that issue, I'll merely say it's entirely groundless. Not only did I not order any such operation, there's no one in Iga who would dare to commit such a despicable act. It's a false allegation you have leveled against us. We've been investigating Koga's activities and obtained proof. As you see, they're busy developing a new ninja tool, or should I say weapon? Furthermore, we have received information that they're targeting Iga's secret ninja core. Really? Meaning it does exist? Koga is attempting to use false vengeance as a pretext to justify invading Iga as part of their strategy to continue expanding their territory. And in response, Iga is prepared to take drastic measures and destroy the ninja core before it falls into their hands. <sighs> Are you sure? Isn't it a valuable deterrent? We passed it down over generations, but that was out of respect to the memory of our ancestors' greatness. The reason it was sealed away in the first place was a safety measure to prevent any further bloodshed. But I assure you, if it stands to ignite a conflict in the present, then we will bury it forever, in accordance with the wishes of Iga's ancestors. You think you can deceive us with that savior complex of yours? To still, scheme, kill, sneak? That is a shinobi's true desire. Hmm. 
In the past, yes, but times have changed. We are not in the ninja glory days, feuding in the warring states period. What is required from each of us now is not military might and scheming, but for us to be guardians of a fragile peace. I promise, Ego will let all that has happened to be water under the bridge. And in exchange, we only ask one thing. Let us be. Do not take anything else away from our village. As Bizen's representative, we have experienced Koga aggression. Kusunoki's already been split. Additionally, the Branch family's small villages have fallen as well. We're powerless and no longer able to defend our people. I'm sorry I've kept silent for so long. Grandma, she was destroyed by the village's steady collapse and ended up taking her own life. After seeing all of that happen firsthand, I... <laughs> Thank you deeply for your courage. What do you think a show needs? There's two elements. Hmm? That would be both love and peace. The Hachia have made a living through entertainment. However, it's a fickle industry. And that unreliability was used against us. So now my entire village relies solely upon me to support them. The reason? Koga's meddling. Are you serious? Seems we're all affected, in one way or another. Does I too? When you start getting up in years, you realize there are a lot more important things than calling in favors and debts. Then I'm assuming everyone standing is willing to testify? Because I have my own statement I'd like to add. You went and got a little too naughty, Kaido. As a village chief, you must take responsibility for your village's crimes. I place you under arrest on suspicion of violating the ninja ordinances. Very well, then. <sighs> Thank goodness. One moment, Captain. Why is it you still haven't found who's responsible for Chief Kishinmaru's death? It's under investigation. Then I pray for a swift resolution and a just decision. Forgive me, but it's urgent. I'm Genji Karajishi, Captain of the 2nd Division. Why is Captain Karajishi here? This better be good. Sir, I came at once to give my report. My division has uncovered conclusive evidence that Koga Chief Kishinmaru Minobe was murdered by Iga. <gasps> <clears throat> We're waiting, Captain. The culprit jammed the signal, you see. Unfortunately, there was no security footage of the scene of the crime. Or, that's the conclusion the 1st Division reached. However, after doing our own independent investigation, the second division succeeded in extracting trace fragments of the missing data. <gasps> See for yourselves. You're calling this blurry security footage evidence? That's just ridiculous! The picture quality isn't important, the audio is. Audio? You know, each village's ninja cores are custom devices. But subtle differences can be heard from their structures, an audio fingerprint that can be used to identify them. The camera recording the murder also picked up sound at the scene. We ran it through the computer, and the analysis shows the frequencies and wavelengths emitted are a 99.7% match for an Iga Ninja Core. This is complete and utter nonsense! Our conclusions were reached utilizing the best and latest in Ninja Forensic technology. The evidence seems pretty airtight to me. What are your thoughts, First Division Captain? A village's chief bears responsibility for the village's crimes. Would you kindly come with me? I'm afraid that won't help your chief. As I've said, we are innocent of this charge, and soon the truth will emerge to prove what we already know. Tokisada, remember what you have sworn to protect. My son, give him a message. Iga is in your hands. With that, the Ninja Grand Council concludes. They arrested Mom? I assure you there's nothing to worry about. They're false charges, all of them. You have to keep a level head. Are you okay? Try to stay calm. I know. What should we do? Whatever it takes, I'll rescue Yumika. Make no moves yet. Ituki, Yumika, no, the chief has a message.
Iga is in your hands. Kozo. Reha. Yes? Uncle, I have a request. Please gather up all the members of our village. Once presented with evidence of their plot, the NSC arrested Iga's acting chief. Their village declared war, and we will answer them. We will mobilize and finally have justice. Steal your conviction for the fight. We must annihilate the village of Iga. I want all of you to handle the interrogations for Koga's acting chief as well as Iga's. And what about you? There's something I need to look into. That right? Going it alone again? I'll do as I'm assigned. But sir, we can't help you if we're always being left out of the loop. Captain, I'm asking you to trust us, please. Then here are my orders for you. From now on, you are to act according to your own sense of justice. Why was he hiding this until now? Wait, that's... Uh, uh. Karajishi, what's the matter? Losing your edge. You like it? This is Koga's latest model. To think I managed to sneak up on you. There's no match for scientific advancement, huh? I never thought you'd sink so low. You're one to talk. Your favoritism toward Iga is inexcusable. Why do you keep denying they killed Koga's chief? There is something wrong with that security video. It can't be accepted as evidence. I swear, there's just no reasoning with you, is there? Be honest, Kozo. Do you think Yumiko will really be okay? Would you stop worrying? She'll be back in no time. But in the worst case scenario, she'll be- I said she'll be fine! It's only temporary, but it's hard to stay calm without her here. Huh? Uh, Master! So lame! Is this the spot? Yes, right there. Everyone, please be seated. I know, word has reached you all regarding the absence of Iga's chief, as well as the circumstances pertaining to why. Per the ninja ordinances, because the chief is absent, we must select an acting one in her place, if I may. As an Iga ninja, and 19th legitimate successor of this village's lineage, I, Itoki Sakuraba, wish to take my rightful place and serve as acting chief. <laughs> Young master. Clear, just until my mom gets back. Iga Chief Yumika Sakuraba, for your crimes, we sentence you to death.
your jacket when it's cold, you'll kiss you when you cry. I will be your heart and constantly beat for you. I was born unwell, feeble with sickness. In that state, I was in no way fit to take my place as Kogan chief. And so my flesh was reforged. The only thing I remember from that time is pain. Months, years of torture passed, but it didn't matter. I remained a failure. Whenever the pain woke me in the night, I'd find myself wondering, what if I hadn't been born a ninja? What if there were no ninja at all? Please accept my apologies. You've been in this cell too long. Allow me. Yes, Takamine here. <gasps> I understand. me to say that 72 hours have passed since we've had contact with Goshigawara. We cannot function without a leader. As such, I'll take his responsibilities as the new head of the NSC. Hold on a sec! I thought the captain was away on a solo mission! Report that to the second division. They're now in charge of finding him. Moving on, Kido Minobe was released without indictment due to insufficient evidence. <sighs> I also have an update regarding Yumika Sakuraba. Given that she plotted to murder Koga's chief, we'll abide by the ninja ordinances and execute her. <gasps> that is all. Wait, you can't! Ah, that reminds me. Chione Kozuki, I hereby appoint you captain of the First Division. <laughs> Your Goshikawada's successor, I trust you'll do him proud. Everything about this stinks! The captain suddenly missing, Karajishi taking command, it reeks of conspiracy! We agree. None of us are happy about this. I think Kadajishi may be involved in the captain's disappearance. <gasps> His treatment of Iga and Koga is clearly suspect. And don't forget the Grand Council. What we heard? That's enough! <laughs> the NSC must remain absolutely neutral. We are founded on that principle. Remember, you're the captain, and a good leader doesn't lose their composure. I'm obviously not cut out for the role. I'm well aware of that fact. He picked me, not because I deserve it, but because it makes things easier for him. With that in mind, there must be a reason Karajishi wants a tight leash on us. For now, we should track down Goshigawara. It's the least we can do. But we've been taken off all investigations. We'll be violating orders if we do that. Think back. The last time we saw the captain, what were his orders? I hope the accommodations are to your liking. What's that face? There's no reason to glare. I came here today with wonderful news and a special visitor. You know the acting chief of Koga, Kido Minobe. He's proposed a deal you won't be able to pass on. I approve of it, of course. I believe it'll benefit the NSC and Ninja everywhere. Agree, and I'll gladly reconsider your death sentence. You want me to give up the secret Ninja Corps? <laughs> Think of it as sharing tech for the sake of peace. I must decline. It's not just another core. It is the original one. I'm guessing it has unlimited energy, doesn't it? If that power was combined with modern technology, it would bring about incredible developments for the ninja, a new age. How could one possibly justify sealing it away, or worse, destroying it? It's quite simple. You don't let a toddler play with a sword, do you? I admit I am perplexed. You aren't even an actual ninja. Why throw your life away to protect this fabled core? Is it your ego as Iga Chief speaking? Do you value your pride over your life? 
Save your breath. You would never understand. Your execution is scheduled to be carried out by tomorrow. Perhaps you should reconsider. Hark, fair ninja. I, the something is successor to Iga, verily command. <laughs> Will you please cut that out? <laughs> Trying to cheer you up with a little humor, right? Uh, -huh. uh, yeah, okay. We can pretend that's the case, I guess. I accept the role of resident comic. <laughs> I'm way impressed, Itoki. Even though the circumstances aren't ideal, you're doing your best. But what about your dad and village? He's a man who's 100% obsessed with his craft. And I'm betting that right now, he's totally focused on his work. You've got a home here, as long as you need it. Thanks, Acting Chief. I appreciate that. I shall humbly take advantage of your huh? noble kindness, oh virtuous leader. Jeez, stop it. Itoki, Kusetsu, come. <laughs> this can't be happening! How could they be executing the chief? My intel comes straight from the NSC. To hell with them! <laughs> Go! Ready all the troops! Quickly! To do what? To bring the chief back home! Obviously! We can't! No, you mean you don't want to! Calm yourself, man. That would begin a war with the whole NSC. Every clan would turn on us. Our village and way of life would be destroyed. Uh, this is no time to sit back and debate! Can you not understand that our leader's life is on the line? We need more information before we decide to act. What do we know? Anything of note? She will be killed tomorrow. A decision must be made soon. <laughs> we can't put this on his conscience. The group has to confer. Itoki, expel me from the village. <laughs> I'll rescue Yumika myself. If you kick me out now, Iga won't be held responsible. Not so. No one would believe that we were in the dark. The Koba are the ones who have willingly chose to ignore the rules. They have left us with no other path! Perhaps, but we mustn't act rashly. There's no good option here. Just some worse than others. What say you? so I can go after her, too. I don't understand why you're hesitating. I have no family. None. Except for Yubika. What's wrong, my dear? Where are your mommy and daddy? should send her off to an orphanage. But she's got a mother right here. <laughs> she's all I have. Isn't it the same for you? I'll go no matter what you decide. Please, take a breath. Be rational. What would you do once you freed her? We wouldn't want you and the chief to be on the run forever. Shut up! It's better than losing her! Kosetsu. Thanks for this. <coughs> I will not expel these two. You're an Iga ninja. Rescue the chief as one. Every second matters here. We cannot avoid taking forceful measures. Tokisada, figure out a way for us to do this right, without Koga or the NSC knowing it. Also, have mercy. Try not to kill anyone. Of course, sir. Kosetsu, take care of her. Everyone else, 
I want you to track down information that proves the Chief's innocence. The NSC won't help. We're on our own. Let's set things right ourselves. Sir! I want you to remember. We have done nothing wrong. Stand tall. Show them what our village is made of. Take pride in our ways. Thank you for your help. Welcome back, Acting Chief. Summon the executives. It's time for a meeting. The day's come, finally. Excuse me, you have a visitor? Who is it? Sousa Coupon. Let him in. Expecting him? Apologies. I came because I have information I must give to the acting chief directly. I have a report from a spy that I sent to Iga. Toki Sadakaga has left the village. He intends to rescue their murderous chief no matter the cost. <sighs> Knowing that Iga's greatest ninja isn't there to protect them, it's the perfect chance to attack the clan. Good work. You may leave. Pardon my boldness, but I have a small request if you'll hear me out. When you attack their village, I'd like to join in on the front line of the strike unit. What? I've heard impressive stories of your talents. I'm happy to grant your request. Hold on, sir. Suzuku is still a child. I'm grateful, sir. And I swear that I will not disappoint you. No! Tell the members who are assigning units that I sent you. At once, sir. Are you mad? I am not a child! This is my own life. I'll choose my own path. Is this what you've learned? To force submission? Would Chief Kishinmaru approve? <sighs> Backing out would make me a coward. This meeting is to decide whether or not we'll attack Iga. Envy. Yes, sir. We were able to deploy more Asura squads than anticipated. If we were to add the Koga strike units to the equation, our forces would be ten times stronger than Iga's. Furthermore, we looked into the report of Tokisada's movements. I can confirm he left the village. We don't know where he is now, but it seems safe to assume his plan is to rescue their chief. With him off the battlefield, our victory would be certain. Your thoughts, Hosen? Well... I'm sorry, but I must oppose this attack. <sighs> We're in agreement with Hosen on this grave matter as well. You bastards. You must have been conspiring in secret. When did you become so damn weak? To start with, the Asura aren't finished. Introducing them on the front line of a large-scale battle would be foolish. We have no way to know how they would fare. You want years of testing? For us to miss our chance, we have all the numbers. The operation is simple. We must not underestimate Iga's strength. This plan isn't like the others. There's no way Koga will make it out of this operation unscathed. We want to avenge our murdered chief. Of course we're ready to shed blood. It would be an honor. The problem with revenge is that it eats at the progress we've made while breeding irrationality. We can't expose Koga to such needless danger. Until now, I was able to overlook a little fighting here and there because it benefited Koga's rise to power. But this is not the same. Attacking is a folly that will destroy our clan's future. Please, sir, reconsider it. Very well. <laughs> I knew you'd see... <laughs> Projections are always correct. I'm sure you have a point this time as well. However, Koga has no room for cowards. Hey, how do you think Itoki is doing? Wish we could just talk to him. 
The dude probably found a cute girlfriend in Tokyo and forgot all about his boring life, but awesome friends back home. Emergency announcement. A fire at a local chemical plant has put the entire city at risk for toxic gas exposure. Please take shelter in gas. Yeah, she's right. It's here on the news. Hey, put down the saw. I got a job to do here. They found some kind of unexploded weapon nearby. What? You mean like a bomb? Whatever it is, we're leaving. Well, it's all bad news. Take a look at this scary story everyone's talking about. Toxic gas. And a bomb that might go off. Hmm? That's weird. I lost my signal. Do you think Kosetsu is somewhere safe? Acting Chief! <gasps> An emergency! I just saw the news. Uh, those reports are nothing but Koga misinformation! <gasps> Listen, when ninja go in for a big attack, they don't simply rely on the cover of darkness for an advantage! You have to block your target's eyes and ears. Judging by the methods used, it's safe to assume Koga is planning something. <gasps> but then... that means... Yes, they have been violating the ninja ordinances. Koga has decided to invade Iga Village while we are in crisis. This is an act of war. This will be our command center. Stay here. We will protect the room. The rest of the village will go and prepare for the attack. Do what you need to. in my life, but here we are. Fire technique defense system is now deployed. Launching! were destroyed. Our first line of defense has been breached. Enemies entering the town. We won't let them take control of our village. They think that we're weak. Wait till they see us in action. <clears throat> Miss Sune. Please, you should go back home. This is my village and I will protect it. Here they come. personnel only. Now get out of here. Bingo. We gotta be fast. In and out before reinforcements arrive. Ready? Ready. Chief. Takisada! Kosetsu! No time to talk. We must leave. But this... It was the acting chief's decision. <laughs> He's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> My dear. I thank you.
Damn, well, that's not very nice. What to do now? There's no punishment harsher than what you were sentenced. Yet you must be disciplined further. Come quietly. They aren't even humans. The enemy are Koga Ninja. And according to reports, Mechanical Ninja. You're telling me they're robots? I'm from Saiga, and I've never heard of anything like that before. Their units are composed of a mix between Koga Human Ninja and several mechanical ones. There are a total of 48 Iga troops stationed on the front lines. Koga has more forces, 250 more, on the front alone. <sighs> it gets better, because they have nearly the same number in their rear units. This is a rough estimate, but they appear to have a tenfold advantage in numbers. Wouldn't it make more sense to run away? Take Yumika. I'll handle them. <laughs> By yourself? Capture them! <coughs> you cowards. Rush me all at once. Right, your new orders are neutralize Tokisara Koga. Do whatever it takes. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah, you know when you fight these guys one-on-one, -on -one, they aren't much of a challenge. There's just so damn many. What's everyone's status? They're repelling the attacks, but no matter how many they defeat, new machines appear and immediately replenish their ranks. The more time that passes, the greater our disadvantages. That sounds kind of like game over. Once Tokisada gets back, we'll have a chance. Our only hope is holding out until then. Until Uncle does return, could we have everyone hole up in the command center? The enemy's numbers are too great. I'm not confident the estate's defense systems can hold them out. No, it's too big of a risk concentrating our forces all in one place. We should continue as planned. Did you notice something on the screen? Why are they being so careful? They clearly outnumber us and can charge in, but something must be preventing them. I mean, a bunch of them did get blown away when they tried forcing their way through the toll booth. Maybe they rethought things. It took a bunch out, but Koga's numbers are still overwhelming. They shouldn't have any reason to be acting cautiously. Um, do you mind if I ask what proportion of Koga's force is made up of mechanical ninja? According to the reports we've received so far, each unit comprises one Koga ninja and four machines. As for the composition of the rear units, I can't say for sure. So the vast majority are robots. Koga's strategy... That may have some bearing on it. Yeah, you're right. Tell our troops they've encountered the machines. Report back anything they've noticed. Even the smallest detail might end up proving helpful. If possible, I'd like to have one of their mechanical ninja brought here to examine. Currently, 29% of the Asura units have been destroyed. Zero human casualties. Most likely, we can suppress their village within one hour. Hurry up and die, you eager bastards. Sorry for the wait. Thank you. We appreciate it. <gasps> Two ninja wounded in the Sparrow unit. Miss Sune, go give Got them it. support. Quickly, med units tend to the wounded. Shrike and woodpecker units. Ninja Corps service tools and pair with suits to bring human physical abilities beyond their natural limits. But this is so highly inefficient. Please, so us normies can follow. Tell me, Kide, could you move all day eating just a single grain of rice? There is no way. It's the same for these machines. The amount of energy supplied to these units from the Ninja Corps is far too low to meet necessary requirements for the body. Factoring in the limitations, I'd expect them only to operate for an hour max. <gasps> Shiota is reporting in. One of them retreated, even though it was on the verge of dealing a finishing blow. After it ran off, a different mechanical ninja attacked. Even though it had the chance to kill me, it didn't. Makes you wonder if maybe its power was running low? 
Thank you, Mr. Shiota. That's extremely helpful. Copy that. If the mechanical ninja's weakness is their insufficient energy supply, that would explain why Koga is after Iga's secret ninja core. If they got a hold of it and the technology allowing unlimited power, I guarantee their battery problem will be solved real fast. Could you imagine? And nothing could stand in their way. Right now, what we need is some way to force them to retreat. I think that I might know a way. The specific ninja cores they've been fitted with are like rechargeable batteries. Based on the report we heard just now, most likely there's a base nearby where the machines restore their energy supply. I imagine they're maintaining a constant rotation. In other words, sending new machines in, while the previous ones are busy charging. So taking up the station would stop them from recharging? It would, but Koga would do everything they could to keep it from being found out. What if... they force that charge with the trucks to serve as a diversion? That way they could transport the charging system via another route. Let's see, Reha. Can we locate where that is? I'll work backwards from the operational time limit. We have to search that entire zone? The charging system would be large, which should make it easier to find. And it would have been transported by semi-truck. Limit the search to concealed locations, with both level terrain and road access. Here are the results. There are five potential locations. If we send two ninja to search each spot... We can't afford to. The front line would collapse. Our only option is forming a single scout party and to go look one by one. It'll take time. It's all we can do. I volunteer. <gasps> There's no way! It's far too dangerous! That's why I have to. Everyone else is risking their lives. This ends now. I don't want any more of our people getting hurt. This is still unacceptable! To send a child out on a battlefield is- I'm the current acting chief. I belong there. <laughs> I must protect Iga. That's my job. I ask permission to join you. You know I can't let you do that! I don't want you getting dragged into our problems. Father made those mechanical ninja, so it's mine too. Uh, a tool created in Saiga Village, my home, is being used as an instrument of war. I can't sit by and do nothing! Yes, but... Let me repay you, and everyone in Iga, for all the kindness you've shown me. Ryoko... Please help me. Well, if you're gonna beg me... Promise me one thing before you both go. If things out there get too dangerous, you guys head straight back here. Good luck. I'm, uh, well... Uh, I don't think I'll be very useful, so I'll sit this one out. Cool. Sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. When we're done, we'll go to the river again. Ryoko, is there anything you need first? Yes. Could you lead me to where you keep your ninja tools? Right this way. <laughs> you really are a demon. Agent Kozuki, want to explain where you've been this entire time? Not like it matters. I'll overlook your violation of orders. We're capturing Tokisada Koga. Division Captain Karajishi, you are under arrest. Huh? <coughs> so you're an eager turncoat? You've no right calling me that when you're the only traitor here! We arrested Koga Ninja earlier. They were at an NSC-owned crematorium. Attempting to burn Captain Goshigawara's body so there'd be no evidence. You are suspected of murdering Hayato Goshigawara. I suggest you surrender quietly. Uh, uh. Lower your weapons at once! What? You're letting him walk away? Controlling the situation at NSC takes top priority. Everything else waits. Do you mean Karajishi has been arrested? <gasps> Tokisada escaped too? He'll be heading back to Iga soon! <clears throat> what gives? An hour's passed already! What the hell? 
Yiga's resistance has been greater than expected. But I guarantee by the morning, they'll definitely It'll be... It'll be too late by then! Go all out! Rear units included! And finish this in 30 minutes! You see that? Chief. Uncle, there's a thick fog covering Iga. Classic Koga tactic. The village is under attack. <laughs> Electromagnetic interference is blocking my comms. I can't reach anyone there. And us? Leave the area and hide. I'm not going anywhere! Iga is in danger, and I'm their chief. I won't run when they're in trouble. <sighs> yeah, I, I figured. Setsu, can you make it? Like you have to ask. He took it. Don't worry. When things get tough, he comes through. Look how many there are. With the charging station located this close, they won't have to conserve energy. If we're spotted, it's over. There are a ton of guards posted nearby, too. We should report back to base. It must be time for the rotation. Something else is going on. Did you notice how most of the Koga Ninja wandered away? Ryoko, is it possible to destroy that thing right now? <gasps> You're nuts! The smart thing for us to do would be returning with more troops. I don't know why, but their defense is stretched thinner than normal. This could be the perfect opportunity to end the battle. Sure, but... You haven't said it's impossible yet. I can't do this on my own. Sometimes you are so reckless, but then I remember you can't help putting others ahead of yourself. <laughs> to be honest, this wasn't exactly a surprise. I came prepared and brought along the two grenades we didn't use while we were fishing. If we use them to detonate the charging system, we can set off a mass explosion through a chain reaction. It should destroy the nearby mechanical ninja as well. However, pulling this off isn't exactly going to be easy. You'll need to place the grenades directly on the charging system or it won't work. Directly on. Got it. Yep. A nearly impossible task. Uh. Which is why we're going to use this. It may not look like much, but it'll jam the instruction transmission mechanism, then the self-repair program. Uh, short version? Basically, it stops the mechanical ninja's movement for about ten seconds. There wasn't much time, so it was the best I could do on the fly. Wow. You never cease to impress me. Head on back. I'll meet you there soon. <sighs> I'll be in charge of this little number. Huh? As a ninja tool crafter, my job is providing you support. If I bowed out now, I'd sully Saiga's name. Understood. your enemy, you must first deceive your own allies. <laughs> Thanks, Kide. Hey, now! Who said I couldn't run on my own? Damn it! What the hell are the defense units doing? The charging station's been damaged. The front is going to collapse. Fine, it's not like we need the Asuras to defeat them. Annihilating Eagle without them will be impossible! Order the retreat! I'm begging you! The 
convoy likely carrying Koga units has just left Iga. In other words, they're retreating. That's great. You went and broke your promise. Don't ever go and do anything like that again. I'm sorry. Who do you think you are, lecturing him after everything he's done? Uh. I offer you my deepest thanks, Acting Chief. We can't very well call you Young Master anymore, can we? Please protect the village and defend your people. He does have some help, you know. <laughs> You're going to tell me everything. Were you acting on Kido Minobe's orders when you murdered Captain Goshigawara? I would suggest you choose your words a bit more carefully. I am the head of the NSC. Which you betrayed in exchange for Koga giving you the position. I have nothing more to say without my attorney present. I imagine it's one of their exclusive private lawyers. What's wrong with getting the best representation? They sold you out. Huh? We interviewed those ninja who were attempting to burn Captain Goshigawara's body. They provided a statement saying you were the one responsible for the murder, that their only job was the cremation, and how your actions had nothing at all to do with Koga. Leave whatever you want. Even after Koga abandoned you, you still serve them. <laughs> you thought I'd crack over such a heavy-handed bluff? Your look, what was that for? If you're truly NSC, then do what's necessary to serve justice. Don't you dare look down on me. This isn't over. It's only the beginning. The Chief? It's good to have you back, ma'am. Is everybody all right? Where's Itoki? We're fine, thanks to your son. He protected the village as acting Chief. You should have seen him. What a relief. Well done. Thank you for escorting her safely back. Get out! And don't think of letting anyone in! What are you doing, Kosetsu? Do exactly as I say, or she does! Have you gone mad? Hand over Iga's secret ninja core! Acting Chief, we've got an emergency! Kosetsu, she's betrayed us! <gasps> she's holding Yumika hostage! How long? How long were you waiting to make your move? Keep your mouth shut. Wait, who are you? I said quiet! <laughs> Tell me where, where it is. is. I want the secret ninja core. Kusetsu! Snap out of it! Don't you move! Say, or I'll kill you. Stay back! I can see clearly, and I know how hard you're fighting. No matter what happens, I'll never stop thinking of you as my daughter. state surrounded. We're trying to get more info before moving inside. We're going in now! Mom! Mom! No. This can't be real.
our next story. Earlier this morning, a fog descended on Iga. All communication was cut off within the city. The reports have blamed the disruption on electromagnetic interference. The exact cause is currently being investigated. Next up, a concerning piece of news. The popular entertainer Iboro appears to have vanished without a trace. His agency has reportedly filed a... Leave us behind, Chief. Police. Get safety. It just wouldn't be my style. My job's making people happy, and I'm not ready to give up that role. Last night, in Aomori Prefecture, multiple residential fires broke out... Uh, under uh, Gino! Meanwhile, in Yamanashi Prefecture, there have been reports of a major blackout. An explosion occurred in a factory in Okayama Prefecture, resulting in three deaths and leaving 28 injured. As you're aware, Yumika's passing has left a void in the leadership. We need to complete procedures to officially make you Iga's new chief. Sure. Kosetsu's in Tokisada's custody. He's hearing what she has to say. But the most likely scenario is she will end up being found responsible for the murder of Yumika. As the village's chief, you will choose her punishment. Chief Yumika, can you hear me? Injecting adrenaline! We're, injecting every minute, We're minute. losing her! Chief We're Yumika! Kosetsu! You better explain yourself and fast! Let me take care of her. I promise to find out everything she knows, whatever it takes. It's no use. It's not working. I'm calling it. You can't! We need to get her to a hospital now! What the hell are you doing?! Let go of me! She's still alive! She has to be! Why this? Why her? What did we ever do wrong? Why did Mom ever hurt anyone? There was no reason this was supposed to happen! <laughs> the annihilation of Hachia Troop, Pizen, and Kuruhobaki has been completed. I'll recall the units we have dispatched, then prepare for an assault on Iga. I swear we'll erase them from history and avenge Chief Kishinmaru's death without failure. I feel as though I've heard this rant before. <sighs> you promised results and only managed to deliver the opposite. Why should I trust you now? You have one more chance. It would be wise not to return to Koga. It appears Kido intends to kill anyone who does not conform to his vision. I have to know, why was my father murdered? He suggested abandoning the plans for armed suppression. But why would he do that? Because Kido's out of control, also. Iga executed Chief Kishinmaru, and we have every right to destroy their village. Considering its current tactics, Koga will suffer heavy losses too. You can't accomplish anything without sacrifice. Meaning, father lacked the courage to do what was needed. You're wrong. <laughs> you have no idea how much he cared about the future of the village. He was trying to protect your future. Your father wasn't a coward. Don't ever forget that fact. For now, stay hidden. We don't want you dying as well. Come on, do you think I'll be like an average salary man? Sounds wonderful to me. But don't you, you know, want me to be something a little more incredible? A world-famous artist, for example. A millionaire, maybe? <laughs> I'd be delighted. Yeah? What if I didn't work, stayed here, and did nothing all day? Except play video games, of course. That's fine. Just stay healthy. Stop messing around, Mom. You don't have any expectations for me? I look forward to whatever path you follow. Huh? In case you don't realize it. My greatest joy in life is getting to watch you grow up, and seeing what you'll do with yours. With that, Itoki Sakuruba, Yumika's son, is chief, the 19th to preside over Iga. I know these are difficult times now, but... Go on. 
It's imperative for us to decide what course Ego will take. I can't take it anymore! We'll avenge Yumika. Just give the word. Oh, we must respond. Harshly, I might add. Koga only understands violence. But their aggression extends to villages all over this country. I assure you they will never give up their attack. We gotta strike back at them before they end us! Tokisara, what's happening with Kosetsu? I'm still investigating. If she doesn't have intel on Koga, let's just execute her already! <sighs> Give me a single reason we should allow a traitor to continue drawing breath. Don't tell me you're- You made your voice heard. We'll pick up this discussion at another time. There's no point for us to keep on talking like this. We delayed taking action before and ended up losing our chief because of it. At this point, Koga most likely has its forces spread thin across the country. This may be our only chance for victory. I say we raid them. I agree. Yeah. He's right. I don't no, I mean, just couldn't we put the decision on hold a bit after her funeral? Um, it's time. I'm going to return to my village. Uh, then you've heard from your dad? I actually just got a letter from him. Apparently he got too absorbed in his work and forgot to reach out. Now you understand where I get it from. I see. I'm thrilled. Home sweet home. Thanks. Thing is, he said he's in the hospital. Still though, it's my father we're talking about, so I'm sure he's fine. When you're a craftsman, it's not like injuries don't come with a job. But maybe I ought to head back home too. It's been a while. Thank you again for letting me stay here. Same goes for me. It was no problem. I just wish you hadn't gotten wrapped up in all this. Sorry. By the way, do you think it would be all right for me to attend the funeral? Uh, your mother was extremely kind to me. Of course you're invited. Thank you. What about you, Kide? Uh, me? The funeral? You're under no obligation to go. Uh, it's not like that. Really. It's just that, uh, I'll go. If I can. That's what you always say when you're not gonna go. Oh, man. I... It's not like that. Terrible. Uh, I know. Sorry. How long's that break gonna last? <laughs> not like we have any customers. There's a rumor spreading about that fog that covered your entire village, how it was from a chemical spill. Talk about reputational damage. Guess bankruptcy's only a matter of time. Cuff me after I finish my smoke break? The opposite, since you asked. I want your assistance bringing Koga to justice. Help us. Your outfit's internal conflicts. They've all been settled then? Genji Kirajishi is in confinement. As for who's currently leading the organization, NSC founder Juzen Jiraibo is serving as provisional head. So the old man's running the show, huh? You're in good hands. I promise we'll make their village atone for their numerous crimes. We'll see, but I won't get my hopes up. I brought a report for you to read on Kirajishi's connections to Koga, as well as data from a certain register he had in his possession. A register? Listed inside, we found there was an individual from your village. I was hoping you could tell me about the relationship between that person and Koga Village. Take care. Real fast. I wanted to talk to you about Kosetsu. Uh. In my heart, I can't believe she was really responsible for what happened. The Kosetsu I know is frank to a fault and incapable of lying. What I'm saying is, there's no way she would betray the people she cared about. I'm sorry, maybe I'm just soft. It's fine, I know how you feel. What if she... Uh, no, it's not important. Till next time! What the heck? Let's meet when we can. Yeah, see ya. Itoki. Uncle. I think it's about time you saw her. Why is she tied up? Binding her was necessary. Only way to stop her from killing herself. Tell me again. What do you remember? 
It was like a bell rang inside my head. After that, into blank, I only recall small fragments. Next thing I knew. <gasps> She's on the floor, covered in blood! <laughs> Just kill me! I have no reason to live anymore! <laughs> I finally have the missing puzzle piece. Koga. They were developing technology to control others through a microchip implanted in the brain. Remember Satomi Subaki, the girl who tried killing Itoki? Turns out there was a chip implanted in her head, too. You're saying that I have one? But who's been putting them there? Kido did. He was implanting them in kids he had with mistresses, then sent them into the other villages. Basically, he was creating his own army of sleeper agents. Setsu, Kido is your father. <sighs> but that's... You knew how long? Uncle, you should have been able to investigate where I came from and whose child I was. You waited, but why? Karajashi concealed the part about the microchips within the NSC. I had no way of knowing. Yeah, but still, the fact that it was Kido's daughter should have raised suspicions. I wasn't worth... You should have just thrown me out! Her brother yet killed me! You really think Yumiko would have done that? The girls from Koga, guess who her parents are? Kido Minobe, the chief's brother and a mistress. Your point? Apparently the mother is already dead. Kido has several other kids, none of which he'll acknowledge are his. I see. In other words, she doesn't have any parents for us to send her back to. I highly recommend we leave her at an orphanage. Were you able to find out her name? Huh? No, of course I wasn't. Well, guess we'll have to decide on one then. Are you serious? It's insane raising a child of the Koga Chief's bloodline! Higo welcomes anyone who comes to us, pursues none that leave. Isn't that what your chief is always telling you? <laughs> Just look at this poor child. You seriously think she poses a threat? Huh. How do you feel about the name Kosetsu? It means red snow. If your hands and cheeks weren't flushed from the cold, we might not have ever found each other. I will raise you, like my own daughter. In that case, Kusetsu was being controlled, which means she didn't. It was all my fault. Don't say that. You didn't do anything wrong. No, she's dead because of me. I killed. I killed. I murdered Yumika. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kusetsu, I've watched you for your entire life. Not to mention, I'm the person who taught you every single one of your skills. So I know, if you had done it, the wound would have been different. The reason you don't remember is because you resisted the brainwashing. Right up to the very end, you did everything you could to protect Yumika. <laughs> there is a traitor, but it's not you. Responsible for killing Yumika Sakuraba? Yes, because she was in Zerville's secret college location, and Kosetsu's brainwashing wore off. I was forced to make the call. Project Z1 disappointed. It was a prototype overrun with uncertain elements. Still, it managed to produce fine results for a defective product. Itoki Sakuraba has officially become Yumika's chief. The village remains in a state of confusion. And he has failed to take command. I see. What should my next move be? Take no further action. Continue sending your reports. In exchange? You'll receive compensation when Iga has collapsed and I possess their core. I assure you it won't take much time. After all... My rival's a child. I've returned from my mission. Here's my report on what I found. 
I infiltrated Iga Village just over That's a quite enough. Huh? Why are they here? I swear I haven't betrayed anyone! It appears Koga no longer separates friend from foe. How could you? Accept your fate without worry. I will ensure the Fuma line lives on. Father, you sold me out to them? I taught you to deceive everyone from day one! This is goodbye, Kile. We'll survive! Guess who's here? Hi! Oh, Ryoko. How's your injury healing? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. More importantly, how's school? Did you have fun during the summer break? <laughs> I hope I didn't startle you. <laughs> Koga runs a pretty tight ship. They cracked the whip on us hard at the factory. I just complained a little, and this is what I got. They made an example of me. Saiga's going to have to close up shop. It's the end of an era. <laughs> Master, let's go. Not yet. I need some time alone with her. As you wish, sir. <sighs> go away. You're not allowed here. When it comes to mourning, there are no villages. <sighs> Itoki Sakuraba. How does it feel, having a parent killed? <laughs> Just like I thought. <laughs> What's it gonna take for me to make you understand the obvious? I shouldn't be forced to tell you how devastated I am! My mother was killed, of course it hurts! What's the matter? Don't you have feelings that the rest of us mortals? What does vengeance get you? All you're killing does it make you feel any better? Does it bring back all the people you care about? Even after hitting you, all I feel is pain. How much blood needs to spill? How long does this have to keep going on? Until every village bows down before Koga. Why the hell is that? Wasn't this about getting revenge for your fallen chief? Keto means business. Iga has no path for survival. Koga's skull. What is their objective? I don't know. Your village's assault. My father voiced his disapproval. And was killed! He gave his entire life for the sake of the village. No. I'm sure he wasn't wrong. But I know who is. Seriously? You're still going to fight? What the hell for? <laughs> it's all I have left. Nothing else. Believe me. extension humanity you're on a treacherous path that only leads to destruction and chaos you accuse me of brutality when my ideal is the same as yours a world at peace brother i need you to tell me whatever it is you're planning the ninja must be exterminated i will rule this country from the shadows along with my army of officers what you're talking about isn't peace it's dictatorship and oppression it isn't too late i'm asking you to stop this at once I knew you couldn't understand my reasons. Despite being family, you and I are fundamentally different. While you were blessed and showered with love, I was the recipient of constant pain and suffering. A slow death! Brother, I can't... from Kido Minobe of Koga. What's he want? It says we're to hand over the secret ninja core. 
as well as unconditionally vacate Ega Village. Forget that asshole! Surrender, stay, or fight. He intends on killing all of us either way. He is declaring war. We can't afford to be spineless. I beg you to harden your resolve! Take a moment to calm down. There's no time! It's a choice that may result in several deaths. I can't make it right away. Shouldering that weight is the Chief's responsibility. Yumika knew the costs and performed her role admirably. There's no reason for you to hold off on deciding. If we don't respond, everyone will end up getting killed. Think of your mother. What those monsters did to her? There's only one path. If you wish to protect Iga, it requires fighting back. Deciding now would be... I still require some more time. Don't you realize by sitting there waiting you've condemned us to death? Your late mother protected the village, but you seem content on letting Iga die! Hey, Mom. Do you think it was possible for us to have lived normal lives like everyone else? The idea seems so far away, I can't imagine it anymore. Kind of strange when up till recently I didn't even believe Ninja were real. The truth is, I still don't completely feel like I am one. But that doesn't mean I'm running away. I've gotten past the point of being so sad I couldn't do anything. As well as the temptation for revenge against Koga. Protecting the village was so important to you. Now I'm starting to realize how I want the same thing. Nah, I'm not as cool as I'm making myself out to be. Like I thought, I wasn't cut out to be a chief. Still, my mind's made up. Forgive me, Mom. But I'm going to do things the way I want. Tokisada. I'm going to need your help. I'm glad to see you all can make it. Thank you for coming. I've come to a decision regarding the letter from Koga's acting chief. I will hand over Iga's secret ninja corps. <gasps> I have my own demands. If they desire it, they must acknowledge our autonomy. Hold on, sir. You mean you're actually considering surrendering to Koga? You're mischaracterizing this. If Iga wants to keep maintaining its independence, then this is the way. Koga would never turn down our terms. And what makes you think they'll accept our demands? No, this is messed up! Handing over the core is wrong regardless of what the reason is! To begin with, what makes you think Koga will honor their promises at all? Countermeasures are in place. No matter what any of you say, my mind has already been made up. Tokisada, what are your thoughts? Naturally, I side with our chief. <gasps> the core? Think about our situation for one minute. Against Koga, their ninja and hundreds or even thousands of machines. Do you think Iga would survive? Like I've said over and over, we need to go and attack them before they come and destroy us! It is better to risk it all now, rather than just sitting around and waiting to die! We should be out there avenging Chief Yumika! All of us! It sounds like none of us feel this is the correct path. But at this point, for our village to survive, there's no other choice. Very well, then. If you find you cannot abide my decision, then leave here at once. Uh. I will strike your name from the register, and you will be expelled. You don't really mean that. Trust me, I wish there was another course of action. But there is not. Once you've calmed down, I know. You understand why it's necessary. This is bullshit! Any further outbursts will be viewed as mutiny. This concludes our meeting. He's leaving now? After that bombshell? <laughs> That's all. This meeting is over. Just a minute, sir! Reconcile with Koga? What's going on here? The new chief presiding over Iga made the request personally. Furthermore, he asked that we serve as witness for the process until the peace treaty has been completed. He did? Really? Since we're the NSC, we have accepted. 
This makes no sense. Koga isn't even trying to hide its mass murders, much less its ninja ordinances violations at this point. We should arrest them, so why are we waiting? There's no evidence. <laughs> the ninja from the villages that were destroyed are nearly all dead or missing. Presently, Koga's only crime we can prove beyond doubt is its assault on Iga. But Captain, someone needs to stop them. It's more important for both parties to reach a settlement. On the subject of terms, Iga has promised not to pursue charges against Koga's aggressions, as well as to provide their village with the secret core. And in return, Koga would agree to pay for damages. Furthermore, both sides would promise complete non-aggression towards the other side from now on. In the event of any violation, the NSC will step in immediately. This will allow us to put a collar on Koga should they decide to act out. After everything they've done, we're just going to let them get away with most of their crimes? Is this how we're supposed to uphold justice? Letting the guilty run free? That's not what we do. The job of the NSC is to uphold peace. <laughs> The issue that most concerns us is the secret ninja core once it's in Koga's hands. Once they possess it, we must ensure it is not put to military use. Our role is to monitor and keep them in check. In truth, you could say the real test of the NSC's purpose is yet to come. What, and just wag our tails for the NSC? We have Koga's pride to consider. The secret ninja core would be in our possession. But the treaty's provisions would prohibit us from any further military use. Pieces of shit! It's no good if we can't use it in the Asaras! You have to admit, it is a pretty clever move on their part. If you ask me, we should turn it down! Are you suggesting we oppose the NSC? It would not be wise to start something with their organization at this moment. Then you're seriously considering their peace treaty? No. We're going to take the secret ninja core before then. <gasps> We will postpone our reply to the NSC, and use that time to prepare a second assault on Iga. Gathering all the necessary personnel, as well as the Asuras? Unfortunately, it may take a while. No matter. Erase Iga from the map for good, and take their secret ninja core. I can't imagine the NSC will sit quietly by. However, as long as we have the completed Asuras... Yes. That will be checkmate. <laughs> Come on, girl. So far, there's been no reply from Koga regarding your proposed peace treaty. That's so. Then maybe you could arrange to discuss it with them for us. They've refused all talks, even with the NSC. I doubt that it's possible. I understand. Thank you all the same for sharing this news. No. The NSC has failed, Iga. We're the ones that forced you into this position. I am deeply sorry. Please, there's no need to bow. You were only doing what your job asked of you. I should be going now. Before you do... Could I consult with you on something? Ryoko! Yoo-hoo! Is that a no? Knock knock, are you home? I'm coming in. Sorry, but I have to keep working on this part. Oh, don't mind me then. I saw almost nothing survived the fire. Things end up breaking, but they can always be fixed. When's the last time you took a break? I can't. Not now. Time is short, and there's so much left to do. Ninja tool construction and maintenance. That's my job. The role of Saiga Village. Even if there's no one else here, I still have to. <laughs> Despite the fact... Yeah, I know. I'll never be strong. I need a welder. Just like these tools. On my own, I'm useless. 
you're amazing, Ryoko. Even when you're all alone, you're still trying to fulfill your duty. Then you have me. I couldn't. <sighs> See, my dad... He's dead. <gasps> the truth is, I'm not sad one bit. I hated him all my life. He trained me to lie and betray everyone I encountered, just to ensure our puny village's survival. You know, it's poetic. In the end, he ended up getting betrayed by Koga. <sighs> I feel relieved. At last, I'm finally free. From what? Kire? Passing intel on Iga to Koga, obviously. <sighs> That was my job, after all. As a Fuma ninja. Matter of fact, you could pretty much say Itoki's mom dying was my fault. What happened to her village was because of me, seeing as how I passed info to Koga telling them Tokisada had left the village that night. There it is. <laughs> Looks like... In the end, I betrayed everyone. Hurt you all. And as my punishment, I have my life and nothing else but the awful things I've done. They're all mine. Even now, knowing the truth, I still consider you a close friend. Don't say that. Didn't you hear how I said I lied to everyone? And what you just told me? Everything about your father, being from Fuma, those tears that you're shedding now? Tell me, is that all a lie? Kid, I, I know the time we spent together was real. That's the truth. I believe that with all my heart. Sure. He only said to put him through to the chief. The call is from Mr. Hosen's home number, though. Put him through. Chief Kido, it has been some time, sir. This is Suzuku Bon. What do you want? I found a video file with audio that my father was hiding. You watched it? Yes, sir. Did you show anyone? No. I wish to turn this file over to you, sir. I am not like my father. Hopefully this is proof of my loyalty. <sighs> One thing. All I ask is a place to die as a Koga ninja. I'll send someone over. Hand over the file, then rendezvous with the second assault teams. I assume this means you and the others have reached a decision? We have. I'll speak and represent the consensus of Iga. Regarding a peace treaty with Koga as our only choice, we roundly reject the notion. It would mean discarding the Iga spirit, what it means to be a ninja for this village. I see. Then you accept expulsion? We don't. It's our wish for you to renounce your authority step down from your role as Iga's chief. It's obvious the burden you've inherited is too great for you to bear. You're incapable of leading. This is our fault for failing to see the truth when it was right in front of us. We will not install a new chief. From now on, we'll all protect Iga, without one leader presiding. I won't vacate my position. <laughs> I cannot give away the final thing my mother entrusted to me. Somebody here has to say it! You sound like a whining child, not someone responsible for Iga! Chief Yumika didn't entrust you with this position, she left the village in your care! And here you are, willing to just toss it aside! Tell me, if she were here, could you look her in the face? Nothing you say can dissuade me. 
continue voicing opposition, and I will expel you. <laughs> There's nothing left for us to do. We'll make preparations at once. Hmm. We're in. Target not found. He appears to have fled. Find him now. Make sure you retrieve the file. Understood. When is the assault on Iga? Tomorrow. Midnight. I swear. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> well? Um... Itoki... Is he here? He can't see you right now. I'll pass a message, though. Sorry for lying, betraying you this entire time. Could you tell him that for me? The same way you used that bird to pass intel to Koga? How long have you... I know what I did is unforgivable. Because of me, Itoki's mother was... No. Turns out the real traitor is someone else. Huh? And yet, the fact remains that you created one of the factors that's forced Iga into a corner. At the same time, we owe you a lot. You were the one that blew up the charging station, weren't you? Uh. I'd say that makes things even. By the way, your message. Delivering it will have to wait. Huh? Itoki is out on his own right now, fighting. He's got enough on his plate. We'll restrain the chief and obtain the secret ninja core. Carry out the plan like we discussed. Tokisada's currently out on the chief's orders, so we won't have to worry about him. There's no one inside except the chief and Kosetsu in the cellar. All of you keep watch on the perimeter in case Tokisada comes back for some reason. What happens if the chief flees? Then we promptly capture him. Don't be afraid to use force if necessary. I will retrieve Iga's secret core myself. A coup d'etat. How much further can their pathetic village fall? Kozu intends to make the chief release the seal of the secret core so it can be used as a trump card to fight Koga. Tokisada's absence gives us an opportunity. Obtain the core before Kozo. But sir... Do it! Or maybe there's a life you don't want to save. The chief is currently in the inner room. No one leave your post. We'll carry out the plan in ten minutes. not to leave their post, and yet you did. Reha, I can't believe it was you. Kosetsu wasn't responsible for killing my mother. It was someone else, Aniga. As things stand, Koga will always have the upper hand. I want to prioritize finding the traitor. All other matters can wait. I understand. Threatening everyone with expulsion. That was all just a charade to buy you enough time. Listen closely. I need you to put on an act, Kozo. If I may ask, why do you have so much confidence in me? I believe the people of Iga trust you more than anyone. 
And if you ended up being the traitor, I don't know who I would have faith in. For how long? Don't tell me that you are the one who killed Chief Yumika! I don't see any point asking me now. All you need to do is kill me. A traitor! Do you realize how much blood has been shed because of what you did? What about our own blood we had to spill? <sighs> have they ever done anything for you? This village, it's poor and weak. On top of that, it took my husband. And all she told me was how I should bear that pain. Kido told me he would save my husband. He actually gave me hope. What's so wrong with that? Can't you see? He was only using you. Everyone here trusted you. There's so much pain in this life. More than I can bear. What have you done? She's poisoned herself. Hurry up. Make her vomit it out. Get her to the hospital. To all the Iga Ninja. First, I respectfully offer my sincere apologies for deceiving you and testing you. To find the traitor. I did it all for the sake of making peace between Iga and Koga a reality. But I am forced to say that may well be impossible. Concerning their chief's aim, it might not be revenge against Iga after all, or gaining control over the ninja. Talking with Suzuku, I realized that. He killed Hosenbo and a high-ranking ninja. There's more at play here. I'll look into it. Thank you. As a result of Tokisada's investigation, it has become clear that Koga Chief Kido Minobe's true objective is the extermination of all ninja, regardless of village. <coughs> you want to know why my father died? You'll find all the information you need on there. I don't need it anymore. Just stay out of my way. Understood? Most likely, by the time you finish reading this, Koga will have Ika surrounded. <gasps> Absolutely do not fight them. Just run. As long as you are all alive, Ika Village can continue on. Don't tell me. In reality, I had quite different goals. When I was investigating the Ninja Mech Warehouse, there were clear signs the vast majority had been moved. To attack Iga. Indeed, we can be certain of that. Then the path to negotiations is closed. The Koga Chief appears to have cut off all contact with the outside world. Talking with him directly would be tough. When Koga attacks us, their defense will be thin. <laughs> Find out when the assault starts. I will go into Koga alone and make a deal with their chief. That won't work. It doesn't matter how much their guard is down. It's their headquarters, and making it through security is impossible. No. <laughs> Not if I have the secret ninja core. <laughs> it's the only way to stop Koga without hurting anyone. <laughs> Young master. While we were arguing over how to run the village, he was arranging this. I'm ashamed. Let's all leave now and support him. We can't let our chief die. That's enough. Now we go. The chief's actions will be in vain. But sir, right now he's fighting for Iga's future. Everyone. Do you have the resolve to protect the village like he's doing? Uh, then we must disobey one of his orders. We won't run. We'll fight here. Uh, Here's the plan. We want to keep Koga in the dark and give the Chief time. When they strike, we'll keep them busy and protect Iga and the Chief. But you have to promise none of you will die. The Chief's sacrifice, his feelings for Iga, they won't be in vain. Young Master, I beg you, stay safe. Fate. Revenge. Shinobi. Within all of these. Next time, on Shinobi no Itoki, Episode 12. Itoki the Ninja.
Why are you here? I gave you orders. I said to fall back! I cut ties with Iga. You aren't my chief, so who cares what you want? You have to listen to me! Such a pain, huh? So childish. <laughs> I will not obey your orders. Kosetsu, do you still want to die? My mother said something to me once. Her greatest joy in life was watching what her children did with their lives. I know that includes you. I'm sure she's there waiting to see what you do with yours. Don't you think that's reason enough to live? <laughs> Take care of things here. Koga is going to launch an attack. Make sure the Egan Ninja escape. Those are the Chief's orders. The current plan is for him to march into their headquarters alone while this is going down. You can break the chip in your head with this. The only thing is, you might break first. The choice is up to you. Once the clock is upon the stroke of midnight, we will carry out our second assault on Iga. The battle should be decided within 30 minutes. I mean, really. What's with this whole late-night reception work? Doesn't it violate the Labor Standards Act? Yeah, those laws don't seem to apply to Koga. Good evening. What can we help you with today? I'd like to have a meeting with Koga's chief. Security feed now! There's only three! What the hell do they think they're going to accomplish? Sir, Tokisada is there with them! The problem is what exactly? <clears throat> Activate all the astronauts in the building! Recall the deployed units as well! Sir, we can't reach HQ through this jamming. Somehow Iga has caught wind of our movements. It doesn't matter. We have them. Begin the second assault as planned. All of you survive and protect Iga! Sir! <laughs> You? What are you two doing here? To come take back what they stole from me. And I'm chaperoning her. By the way, Kirei, uh, don't you have something to say? Oh, uh, <laughs> I switched up my hairstyle. You like? Out with it. Uh. I'm so sorry. The truth is, I was deceiving you the whole time. And was actually passing intel along to Koga. That's done. I'm here to make amends. Because I'm your friend, and I want to prove it to you. I 
don't want to fight you if I can help it. I only came here to talk. It's far too late for that! Stay back. at headquarters. After we kill the intruders, we'll crush Ika with the rest. I've got these two. Kusetsu. <laughs> what the? You're here! try and set things right. So that's Iga's famous secret ninja core. All of the chiefs protected it, even at the cost of their lives. And you're willing to destroy everything to get your hands on it. I propose a trade. Make no further moves against the villages. Destroy all of your mechanical ninja. Admit to the numerous crimes you have committed. And finally, you will resign. Give up your ninja status. I refuse. The fact that your blade isn't even pointed at me means that you don't have it in you to strike me down. Or more accurately, you lack the inner strength to end another person's life. After crushing your pathetic village, countless Koga ninja will return and do the same to you. As for me, all I have to do is wait for them. I don't know what you hope to accomplish tonight, but your little rebellion is through. I wanted to ask you something. Why are you trying to destroy every village, our homes, as well as all the ninja? Also, why did my mother have to be killed? You didn't want to become a ninja, yet had no choice but to be one. Maybe you didn't want anyone else put into a similar position. It makes sense, not wanting others to suffer. You were born into a ninja family. Life was decided for you. Pain, a constant reality. Dirty work, a routine. You wanted a change. Is that what caused you to try and make yourself the last ninja? Because if it is, maybe deep down, you're a kind person. I can see how that would be your real motivation for hating Ninja. In which case, I can forgive you. Damn it! Out of curiosity, what do you two think of Koga's current direction? Huh? Let's say this plays out and the Asuras kill every Ninja. What happens afterwards? The powerful will stand atop a pile of corpses, made up of the weak. That's just the way the world works. Your old man died because he refused to accept the inevitable. Constantly talking about the future. So that's why. Bastard! It's not like opposing the chief will change anything. Planning on taking his place or something? That's right. Enough of your bullshit! I would rather die than be led by you! Heart should be Kido Minobe as darkness. Same goes for you. 
I'll give Koga the future it deserves! <laughs> Let me guess. You were born without any weaknesses. Grew up surrounded by loved ones. If you came banking on the hope I had a conscience, then you're sadly mistaken. I never possessed one. But then again, I don't believe you have one either. There was no grand design behind why I killed your mother. She was just in my way. <gasps> As for my reason for wanting to crush Iga, destroy every other village, and eliminate the ninja, it's simply because they're an annoyance. I hope you weren't expecting to find closure for your beloved mother's death. Although I can see how you would try convincing yourself there must be some reason your lives were ruined. However, the reality is, killing her was of no significance, not any different than squashing a gnat in the palm of my hand. Now that you have your answer, do you have it in your heart to still forgive me, Ituki Sakuraba? <laughs> Beneath the surface, all of us are demons. You want to avenge your mother? Then make your move, because this is your one and only chance. Draw your blade, you coward, and strike me down! That is if you can! till the day you die. I have nothing else to say to you. We're done talking. Video and audio recorded. We've got what we need. Should we go in? I'll get Koga's chief to confess he ordered the various attacks on the villages. A, a recorded testimony? Wait a sec, you don't plan to enter Koga, do you? So in exchange for the evidence, I look the other way. Is that the deal? Tokisada has given me counsel. I'm asking you for this favor, Captain Kozuki. Are you there? Permission to go in. Permission granted. All agents, move in! Prioritize rescuing the wounded! Then secure a route to the top floor! The rest I leave for the NSC. Surrender and face your punishment. A child lecturing me? I think not. Kosetsu! Tell me. Why do you resist your fate? Resist your destiny! You underestimate me. What makes you think I would ever give up? When there's everything I hold dear! <laughs> Feel guilty. 
guilty over what I've done. You were blessed, born with everything handed to you. Whereas I entered this world broken like a defective machine. You're so merciful. You can't even murder your parents' killer. While I'm so merciless, I wouldn't hesitate for a second to kill an infant. Nothing we did could ever change how we turned out. And after everything I've done, there's not a single thing I would repent for. That's the kind of man you see before you. More excuses. Why am I not surprised? You talk like you're the victim. As if you had no control over your actions and are free of blame. But you know that's not true. The world's unfair and you chose to run away. You're not unique. People struggle from the moment they are born. Suffering never goes away. Because this world is not fair. But you just have to tough it out. No choice but to grit your teeth and bear it. No matter how much it hurts. You have to live, despite everything. Kosetsu, are you okay? Yeah, I'll manage. An angel till death. I warned you. <laughs> Babysitter anymore, right? Uh, think of Setsu? Smile now and again. Well, see ya. No, wait! Requesting medical unit ASAP. Attention, all NSC agents. Tokisada Kagi is wanted for attacking Koga and killing Chief Kido Minobe. The fugitive is on foot. Pursue at once. You won't get away! I swear I will catch you! You ready? Yeah. What will you do now? It doesn't matter. What do you mean by that? It's my life. My decision. I see. Never thought we'd see the day, but we're maintaining a functional relationship with Koga. That's good to hear. As for Tokisada, it's been nothing but radio silence from him. Then you guessed why I'm here. Not like you asked my opinion on the matter, but I kind of get the feeling he's nearby, watching the village, protecting us from the shadows. That's what you'd expect from a shinobi. If you find him, will the NSC punish him? All I can say, I'll do my job as best I can. Hey, when you got a sec, would you mind giving my prosthetic arm a once-over? Sure. Now a question for the leading actress, Miss Kire Kisagawa. Fire away. What was your impetus for becoming an actress? Well, actually, I'm a really good liar. That's your reason? <laughs> then one day, I figured I should use that skill to make people happy instead. At this time... We will begin the meeting. Hitoki says today's his first day at work. I feel like he'll stick with it, or he may quit after three days. What do you think, Mother? Okay. Here, you uh, drop this. Thanks, mister. Uh, Never do that again, hear me? Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a ninja, would ya? What kind of question is that? <laughs> 